change it. I think that's one of the reasons why Clinton won. You know, Clinton had this, 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 no matter what. I'll tell you, when we first had this conversation about the letters, you were right. And oh. You know, I was just playing it up and these guys are like, what? It has a boost, you know, I mean, you know, for 25 year old guys. Poor job of organizing, poor job of um, educating, too. Yeah. No, that still doesn't work. All right, you talk. Listen, listen. Okay. We, I just realized we have to change the intro. I was just going to say that. Because people are going to say that we're sponsored by Philip Morris International now. I and we really need to change the intro. I will work on it this week. I, I swear to God, I was just going to say that coming in after I saw it. I was like, oh, boy. Well, I'm sure uh, we're going to be talking about that tonight. I mean, uh, you know, a few things, a few housekeeping things. Uh, when I was putting the show together, I had an idea for the name of the show and you guys know we don't play into the drama. We don't. I mean, we're going to talk about some of it tonight, right? But I, I had a really good name for the show and a good yes, thumbnail yes, to use. And yes. and I'm like, should we do it? And Dimitri's like, no. So yeah. It would have gotten some clicks. But honestly, even when we talk about drama, we talk about with facts and with uh, reasonable um, explanations and opinions from both ends. Uh, that's why the show is called DP. Uh, and it, it's just really good to be, once again, uh, as far as Dimitri is concerned, it's very good, once again, to feel... Uh, Vindicated. I told you so. <laughs> I told you so, <laughs> you know? Uh, but uh, anyway, Happy New Year to everybody. Happy, happy New Year with health, happiness, love, and success for 2023. And uh, any, everything that you want, uh, desire, or need, uh, I know what you need, Phil. Uh, in 2023, I hope it hits you right in the face. Wow. That was beautiful. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Happy New Year to you, Dimitri. Thank you. Um, so over the break, you, you remember when I upgraded OBS and then all of a sudden it didn't work with the Elgato Stream Decks anymore? Yes. And so I had to like go back on it. Well, I heard that OBS, the, the latest version, worked with Elgato and Elgato had to update. So I updated everything all at once and it broke stuff. <laughs> and I, I sent you that message the other day. I'm like, uh, everything's broke, but everything's working. I think I think it all works. And I've added a new stream deck. As a matter of fact, if I push. Uh, this button right here, you can see the new stream deck over here. Nice, right? That's a lot so of, that's, I, that's, I, I the, just, I, that's just a little bit too many buttons for your age. It, you it's know? it's a <laughs> it's, it's a, a lot buttons. of buttons. It's a lot of buttons. But I'm using this. At, uh, like, so like you should start to see like different things on the show and improvements and some some additions. Uh, but but I'm using this as a soundboard right now, right? And I have all these sounds on here, and I have one here for you. Hold on. Thank you. I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. Did you not hear that? It's just it's too low because I have you on the big speaker. I don't have, I don't oh, have you in my okay. ears. All right, it was it was okay. fun. It was fun. It's okay. okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Um. Listen, before we get started, I know that you um you know you have a tradition uh for the last decade for uh, you know sharing the the love decade with uh, with your stocking contest so uh i would like for us to to get that out of the way and uh, yeah. make sure you make somebody happy i agree let's get that out of the way um because i i never did the final additions to the stocking contest i never let anybody know how to win the stocking contest so i have um i don't have a stocking but i got this box okay and this box has a whole lot of ink and goodies in it now, I think we already went through the tanks, right? Put it on your camera so everybody can see it in the big. Oh, uh, we'll go to the big camera. Okay. So let's yeah. go. Uh, let's go full fill. How about that? Is that better? Um, so I got a lot of goodies in here for you guys. So what do I have? I'll go through everything. I'll go through everything really quick. Uh, I have, this is an older Endora. I have an, uh, a Flexar. Remember this? A couple older pieces here. Some pieces, this is the last of my inventory. You're getting the last uh, piece. I got a Go S. 
I've got a new Scepter 2. I've got uh, a Chroma Z. I've got an MVP. I've got... The, this is uh, my last piece on this one, too. This is a, um, a Cool Fire Z60 with the uh, removable battery. I have the new Cool Fire Z80 in the Fire Engine Red. Uh, all, all coming to one lucky winner, too, by the way. How about this, D? Have you seen one of those in a while? Yes. Last I one. I actually have. I, have. I have a few in the store. Last one. I way, can, can I While you're showing all this, Jose Santos, Team Free Shit Extraordinaire number one, <laughs> is masturbating to this. <laughs> he's, he's pleasuring himself to, to the freebies. Uh, another uh, a Chrome R. I've got, how about that? An adept slide. You can't, you, I don't even know if you can find those anymore. Of course, a um, clips, a cool fire, uh, cool fire slide. This is the Z50. Uh, this is that limited edition uh, limited retro. Edition, yes. They did. Vintage. What else? A scepter tube. It just keeps going. Go Z. Of course, you got to have a go Z in there. Um, an Endora, Endora M18. A Podin. You know what? I still, this is what was one of the nicest yeah, looking yeah, box yeah. devices out there. And then, of course, the entire line of our, our, of our tanks, uh, the Zenith Pro. That's the limited edition France edition. That too. is the limited edition France edition. Uh, the new Zenith 2. I've got the original Zenith, limited edition blue. The award winning Ares 2. And that's uh, also the limited edition, the other uh, gray. Uh, what else we got here? A T-18 tank. A slide. And the new award-winning slide top. It's a huge pile, guys. It's a huge pile. Huge. And I'm going it's to... Huge. It's, it's huge. huge. I'm I'm gonna it's huge. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know how to win it right now. Okay. How are you going to win it? Uh, we'll probably announce the winner on the next DP show uh, or maybe the one after that to give you guys plenty of time to enter the contest. Uh, it is going to be a question. It's kind of a difficult question, but you have to answer the question uh, in one of three ways. Okay. The first way to do it, what I'm going to do is on my Facebook page and on the platform group Facebook page, I'm going to post a picture of a stocking, nothing else, just a picture of the stocking, all right? Underneath that picture, if you know the answer to this question, you will be in a random drawing to win everything in this box right now. And uh, a very big special thank you and shout out to Inigan uh, for providing product for me to do things like this. I appreciate that, guys. All right. Yay, thank you, Inigan. Hold on. I have that. Yay! All right. <laughs> so what is the uh, what is the question? All right. It's kind of difficult. I know it's a little challenging, but if you guys think about it, you'll be able to figure it out. All right. So underneath the picture of the stocking on my Facebook page and the one in the platform group, or you can also send an email to, remember this, contest at tasteyourjuice.com. I haven't done that in a long time. What is the answer to the following question? Here's the question, okay? What is the number one best-selling flavor in the unsalted line? Wow, okay? that's a tough one. I, it a it tough is one. a hard that question. That is a tough one. That is a, I mean... It is listen. a hard question. And, th th you know, because I said that, you know, I got to do a shot. And this is, where, this is where you might get a little upset, Dimitri, right here. Uh, because on my New Year's Eve party, mm -hmm. I, I drank all the Jack Daniels. Wow! And, yeah, I know. Imagine that, right? At all. That's and uh, and I I didn't get to the store to replenish it, so I'm gonna have to do shots of your uh, your Johnny oh Walker my Black. God. I know. That's such a waste. I love I, that. I, that's, that's see, I knew. Right I knew you were gonna say that's that. That's what I'm drinking right now. Is it? All right, hold on. Let's yeah. get you back on the screen. Okay. So again, uh, there you go. I got the family size glass. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Happy New Year. And don't worry. Oh. Oh, that goes down a lot smoother than Jack. Um, <laughs> but don't worry, because if you ever come back, I, I know you don't want to be in the States anymore, but if you ever come back, 
um, I will have a full bottle for you ready to go. I'll be there in February. And by the way, since you brought it up, let's just go ahead and announce it. Phil Should and we? Dini will be at the TPE Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada. Boom. Las Vegas, Nevada. And TPE, me and Phil will be there. We have made our flights. Uh, so come by the Innigan booth if you're at the TPE and hang out with us. And if you're not going to be at the booth or at the show, Tuesday night, I have a uh, table service at um, a nightclub. So at the, Anya, <laughs> at the Anya nightclub, come by and drink. That, that narrows it down a little bit. <laughs> Especially if you're a woman, come by. We have a table uh, VIP service. Did you invite so, all of them right there? Yes, yes. That's okay. the only people I invited. I don't want no vapors there. Excellent. Good job. Women. Good it. job. Hey, is, if, since we're going to be at the TP, does that mean we're big tobacco? No. Okay. No, not yet. I mean, I think I, eventually one day we will be, but right now we're not. We're not. Unfortunately, since 2016, I've been accused of being big tobacco, and it is 2023. So I don't know. Maybe it'll take another three years, maybe after a decade. But yeah, we will be at Las Vegas and we'll have some shots. Yes, absolutely. We will We will have some shots. TPE, Las Vegas. That is the Las Vegas Convention Center, and it is going to be February 22nd to the 24th, right? That's correct. Something like that. We have our uh, we have our travel plans set. We've got our yes, flights, we uh, and we're going to be there. And we're meeting at our favorite romantic spot in Dallas uh, Airport, and we're flying together into Las Vegas. I'll probably make a limo with some champagne to take us to the hotel. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because you, we haven't seen each other for a very long time. Can you make that happen? And uh, that big tobacco money is just coming in right now. So, you know, I mean, well, I'm surprised uh, we don't have our own plane uh, at this point. Uh, well, it was a little bit difficult for them to come to Chattanooga and then Florida due to, you know, weather and all that. And that makes sense. Uh, prices of gas going up. But that uh, makes sense. but soon, soon. So, you know how when you have like a whole bunch of vape devices on a table, uh, you, you just kind of you just see something and you grab it and you want to vape yeah. it. So I had these vape devices on a table. You see these vape yeah. devices right yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how all these vape devices just were sitting on the table? Yeah. And I kept trying to grab this one, right? And I, I was going to try to vape it. And you can't. You can't vape this. What you know what? This is my brand new nose hair trimmer. No and shit. it's not something you want to vape. It's really I th- not. I, I, I honestly thought that was like a suction thing or something like that. No. it And... and I have used many nose hair trimmers. In I'm, the past. I'm sure you have, and, and you probably this killed right them all here, I, because your look, hair is so fucking. <laughs> so I am officially promoting. I wish. I wish we could get some promotion dollars for this. Um, it's from Conair. It's called the Conair Man. Uh huh. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. Does it do ears as well too? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Can you give me give me one? Give me uh, one. And bring it to Las Vegas. I'll get is you it expensive? one. Expensive? No, 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 no. Very cheap. It's 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 um it's affordable enough for me to buy it for you, which means it's like. Yeah, you know, okay, under under cheap. thirty dollars, right? It's cheap. But I, uh, give me one and bring it to Vegas. Uh, hold on a second. I mean, j- look at this design. It's got like a mushroom cap top. <laughs> I know. Go ahead, make your jokes. It looks, it looks like a vape device. It really does. It does look like a vape device. But because of the design, you can go up and then you can come down too. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Highly recommended. Please get me one. Highly I, recommend. I don't have nose hair, but I do have a little bit of ear hair. Just here works on for the that. Bottom. You can get that. Yeah, I can get that, right? Okay. Yeah. You want me to demonstrate? Yeah, give me, give me one. I can't hear anything right now, but just you know, little. Oh yeah. Done. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hook done. me up. Hook me up. It's fantastic. I'll Hook get you up. one. All right. <sighs> what was I gonna say? How was your Christmas? How was your New Year's? Everything good? Uh, New Year's was 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 really good. So what happened on New Year's? Uh, there was somebody here in the neighborhood that was having a New Year's Eve party. Uh, unfortunately, they had to cancel their New Year's Eve party two days before the party because it was a death in the family. They had to leave Florida and fly up north. Hmm. I took the party over, so I had everybody over here. So there were about 30, 40 people here, and it was really fun. It was really yeah. fun. I drank way too much alcohol. We played a fun game. You know uh, Pictionary? Yeah. You've played Pictionary before, right? Really? Yeah, but what we did was, this is fu- is, it's triple X Pictionary. Oh. So everybody gets a card, and you write like a sexual position or something really, really dirty on the card, and uh-huh. then everybody picks the cards, and then you have to draw it on the, on the thing. It was fun. Oh, okay. Let me ask you a, a couple questions, Here a couple logistics questions I have uh, for you playing that game in Here Kick World. Number yeah. one, everybody would have to put glasses on to read it. 
I'm assuming. No, uh, <laughs> because you know, unless you, unless you write it in huge letters, you know they won't be able to see it. Good. Keep uh, going. <laughs> number two, mm -hmm. uh, when you're when you're drawing it on the board, mm -hmm. how long does it take for them to complete the actual drawing? <laughs> it's just like, it's good. it sounds like a very long game. You I'm only saying. had you only had sixty seconds per drawing. <laughs> that was it. But I noticed something very fascinating about um, New Year's Eve here with the neighbors. We started off with. 40 people by the time midnight came around we were down to like 15 <laughs> wow well you know a lot of people drank too much and they went home yeah 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 i drank too I mean, much and I, and I couldn't go anywhere because at I, that age yeah. i was home you know but definitely not the uh definitely not the new year's eve parties of my past yeah um but oh my god recovery the i yeah, you know, yeah, i got sick I got it's sick rough, that rough. dude. I, I I haven't gotten sick in a long time, Lo long time. Yeah. So I did. I did. I drank like a, you know. You remember that? You know the big bottle of Jack yeah, that I always have yeah, here on the yeah. show. Yeah, there was yeah, about yeah. a quarter of that, two thirds left, and I, I pretty much polished the whole thing off myself. Listen, I I feel the same way. When I drink too much, it takes me a couple of days to to recover. My Christmas, you know, my wife came from uh, the states with my youngest daughter, so it was nice to have Stavula here with me. Unfortunately, I got sick for like four or five days. I was, I mean, I was like really sick. I tested for COVID. I tested for flu A, B. Everything was negative. So it's just basically a bad. And everybody in Greece has it. It was like a bad cold. I had fever for a couple of days, and for four or five days, I was just out. And I'm still feeling the effects of it two weeks later. Uh, but it was nice having Lena here and, and spending Christmas together. And we did New Year's, which has been a tradition uh, since the kids were born to do New Year's Eve uh, together at, at, the, at the house. So so it was nice. They're back in the States now. They left uh, Saturday. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just nice and quiet. Nothing nothing really, you know, out of extraordinary or, you know, crazy here. Yeah. And and it has. I mean, things things definitely change as, as you get older. I mean, the parties were a lot crazier. <laughs> the things you did were a lot crazier. And uh, they, yeah, they, it's definitely they, slowed down. <laughs> they, they've definitely slowed down. And uh, you, without a doubt, need uh, a whole lot more uh, time to recover. Uh, but I tell you uh, what, it was really nice. And what, what what was super nice about it is that a lot of the neighbors were looking forward to the party and they were yeah. disappointed when the party got canceled. So, you know, I was able to pick up and they had saved, a, uh, I saved New Year's. The old, the old retirement. I say, I saved, stop it. I've saved New Year's for these people. I did uh, like a hero, uh, like a hero. Um, Istanbul but, uh, in the house. That's cool. Hello, Istanbul. Hey, what's up? And uh, what's up, Georgia boy? Uh, from my hometown in Ringgold, Georgia. Uh, listen, see. say hello to Janine um, too. I love Janine. Say hello to Janine. I I, I just want to say that uh, I you you did send me a Christmas present. I still have not gotten it. <laughs> um, because you're you know cheap, not to send it to Greece, you send it to the states. How the fuck but, am I supposed um, to know where you're going to be and when I, you're going to be there? I, I look forward to at some point when I go back to the United to the United States to yes. see my Christmas present. You know, after Valentine's Day, I guess. But, yes. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank I'm you. talking on my Christmas present from you right now. <laughs> I know you are. Do I sound That's sexy? That's why I got it. Do I? That's do why I, I look? Because every time I can, I look at it, it reminds me of myself. Do I? I know you see yourself in every time uh, we do this, uh, and it's it's fantastic. It's a good looking mic. I still I got to get. I haven't need a better solution than the uh, the the table stand uh, to get it up and out of my way because you know my arms are moving around. Yeah. They got to do a lot of things. They have to push buttons like. Uh, yeah. Really? Going there you go. There you go. Got a bunch of these. Damn, here. I wish I could hear that, but I can't hear it. You really can't um, hear it? Oh, that's too bad. Okay. I have to put. I have to put. Uh, I, I normalize them all too, so they should all be the same volume level. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, I didn't want to put the, on uh, earphones, uh, but uh, I mean headphones. I have you playing out of the speaker. I got it. But um, nonetheless, uh, you are slowly uh, fixing your. I, I'm thinking about uh, starting a Greek vape show. Um, really? Because yeah, I mean, you know why? Because yeah. you need more to do. So that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, I have a lot of free time, but, but I am thinking about starting a Greek show because there's a lot of drama in Greek YouTube right now, and this oh. is the perfect. This is where I shine. <laughs> I shine because I can come in and you know and uh, and uh, kill him with kindness. I have, I have this perspective on vaping because I've been involved in it so long and there's nobody, I, I think personally, and maybe you can correct me, Phil, but you probably won't. Uh, 
I don't think there's anybody that has been through the turmoil, the slander, the uh, harassment, uh, in in the 10, 11 years I've been more than me. Not Nobody. a joke. I, 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 I truly believe that. So now that there's like a lot of YouTube drama going on in Greece, I want to get involved. <laughs> I want to jump in. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. So I'm, I'm thinking about starting a Greek uh, vape show. I have in one of my stores, I have a really nice room in the back that I can make it into a studio and and make it soundproof and put some tables and put some tape and make it like a little podcast type and have guests and stuff like that. Oh, um, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be in to do that. And then I can do the show as well too with you from there instead of doing it here from the house. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So you want to put a hey, little Robin. studio? You Robin. Want to, there's nice Robin. You. Happy New Year. Hey, Robin. Craig is here. I saw, I saw Larry before. Hey, Larry. Hey, buddy. I, I, I haven't seen Larry in a couple of days. Larry did I'm something. I'm glad that Larry made it another year. Larry did something with his neck. I was very upset that he wasn't at my New Year's Eve party. But what he do you heard, do? I don't know. He, he's, he's old, man. He's like... He's 150 yeah, years old. Don't you know what he did? He got out of bed. <laughs> that's, what I saying. that's why I said, I told him earlier in the chat, I was like, I'm, I'm very happy you made it another year. That's yeah. All. <laughs> you got to go year by year now. <laughs> Babino, what's up? Nice to see you, my friend. Um, oh. So anyway, I'm thinking about doing it. We will see. We will see. But we have yes. to get at the atom out of hand because, you know, a lot of people are talking about this. And, of course, everybody's expecting to see what, what, what we're going to say. And um, it, I have a lot to talk about on this particular subject. I me, figured I you have, would. I have, I have it very personally. But before we do that, mm -hmm. uh, we did have some news in, in this past week. And I want you to uh, read. Be wait, be before we even do that. Yeah. We forgot something else, actually, that we have to do. What do we have to do? We, we've already missed a lot of the time. We needed to talk about this for, like, what, 46 oh minutes? God. Oh, my God. I know. Yes. I, but uh, I remember. I, I'm sorry. I, I he's probably going to withhold uh, our, our commission from this. But, yeah, it, it, very exciting. We were worried about this because we, we, we talked to Ira last year, and uh, he, was, he was a little bit disappointed and and uh, we just didn't know what the future is going to be of the biggest, the biggest vape show in Europe. And that is the Hall of Vape in Stuttgart, Germany. One of our favorite shows uh, in our list uh, last year. It won the best show of, of the year. Uh, very, very excited to announce that it will be back for 2023. Uh, uh, thankfully, it's only two days instead of three days now. He listened to us at least on that on that. It'll be Saturday and Sunday, the 6th and 7th of May. And guess what? Me. I, and this is, again, barring any travel disasters. Because I didn't make I the last this, one. Uh, uh, me, Phil Busardo, and Matt Cully, uh, Tiny Lips, Suck My Mod, um, is going to be there. Uh, we're going to be representing Unsalted. And uh, so very, very excited to be back in Stuttgart, Germany. And, and listen, it, it, business is business. We're gonna, it's going to be fun and all that. But mostly I'm excited to go see Ira and see all our friends in Stuttgart. We always have a great time. Ira is just an amazing host. Uh, one of the best guys in the industry, in my opinion, in the way that he takes care of his guests and, uh, and the way he feels about the industry. And uh, so, yeah going to be there hall of vape uh if you don't have a booth make sure you get a booth because this is going to be the only opportunity to actually do some business in europe this year uh aside from disposables and uh contact them and uh and get in there i uh, hope to see you there listen a couple of other things uh we have a hard stop tonight we have to make sure that we don't go over time and, and fuck what's uh what do you call it um st vape show okay okay He's in here. He's in here. He's complaining. We got to make sure. Okay. Listen, Scott, I promise you we're going to finish on time. <laughs> we're going to come on time and we, then we're going to we're going to pass it on to you. Yes. Everybody needs to go watch ST Vapes after this show. After the show. Yeah. After the show. And, and keep doing shots with us this way. When you go over to his show, you're nice and buzzed and you enjoy the show more. Yes. Right? Did hey, you listen, know? I, Dimitri, did you know we're in this picture? No. Yeah, we're right here, right back there. See where the arrow is, right over here. I don't see it. Yeah, we're right back there. Oh, really? Yeah, we're somewhere back there. That's awesome. Yeah, right back there. <laughs> hey, uh, Ira, yeah, very, I very remembered, Ira. I just wanted Ira. I remembered. 
I know we didn't give you the 46 minutes that were contracted to. Give him 46 seconds, which is about what I can give, uh, you know, when I'm making love, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a good 46 seconds. It was good. It was heartfelt 46 seconds. Hey, congratulations to Peggy. I Peggy? went through, yeah, Peggy. Peggy Whitmore. Congratulations. Why? Congratulations to Peggy. I went through um, at least uh, 100 um, entries uh, that want to be sponsors for the show. Right. Wow. Like a hundred applications. Uh, right? Was PMI one of them? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Big, big dollars. Uh, but, but Peggy's application came up to the top. Right. Wow. And Peggy is now an official sponsor of the DP show. And her logo will be on the screen. Congratulations, Peggy. Vape Cats. Vape Cats in Florida. We're very, very excited to have you on as a sponsor. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very excited to promote you as much as we possibly can because mm -hmm. uh, truly and honestly, you have been our number one supporter mm -hmm. and uh, and proudly would have you on board. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Definitely. ST Vapes was up there too. But the yeah, only, he, was, he was in the top. I hear, I hear. The only thing he offered was um, naked pictures of Mike Vapes and... I'm good. Just, no, didn't I'm didn't good. do it for me. I'm okay. good. It, it, it just didn't. It, it was like it was close. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was very close. <laughs> it was close. Uh, yeah. Somebody that sells tons of our product or pictures of Mike Vapes. I mean, it was it was very very close. But uh, Peggy Peggy uh, won. So so congratulations, congratulations Peggy. Peggy. Your 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 photo your logo will be on the screen. Um, and, and Peggy, listen. Don't don't say you're honored because honestly, me and Phil should be honored that yep. there's still people like you in the United States that mm -hmm. believe in our products, that believe in helping smokers, that believe in open vapor. And uh, it's the least that we can do. It's the, right. Honestly, it's the least that we can do. It's absolutely we the should least be we coming there. We should be coming there at least twice a year giving you a foot massage. I mean, we should. I think that we should be doing that. I, if I could, I would. Okay? He would. But this is the second best thing. No lie. He would. Ho yeah. Wait a second. Not a joke. There you go. A joke. That's true. I heard that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's that's cool. Um, and let's see. What do you, you want to get to the to the the, the, the drama? Or, Unless you I'm have something to, else. Well, I do have the political figures I want to have sex with updates. Let's do that later. If if anybody if anybody's still interested in that, and I we, am, we have a winner for the contest too. I am. We have a I'm winner. very very excited to announce the, the winner of the contest. We have a big winner. I think it's, a, it's a very good, uh, very very good choice. I like I like the uh, choice. I like it. It's yes. quick. It's yes. funny. Um, but 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 let's get to, to, to that later. I think a lot a lot of people want to hear. Uh, sure. You know sure. the the exciting news of uh, of the vaping industry this uh, this past week. But to start that off, we have to read the announcement from the beginning, and that would be uh, the AVM announcement. If you can, please feel put on the screen and read it out for us. You want me to read it too? Yeah, I mean, what the fuck? You're, uh, you know, Wait, you know do you want to do the? Did you want to do the AVM one first, or did you want to do AVM, the AVM? Did you want to do the, the PDF file first? Because you, no, you the you, AVM. All right, we'll do the AVM. I've, I've already told you the AVM. I don't know why you keep asking. No, because before we, when you were talking, it sounded like you were talking about the PDF file first. You wanted no, to. No, no, no. The PDF is going to come afterwards. All right, there you go. Please join us in congratulating AVM president and co-founder. Amanda Wheeler, as she announce, advances to the next stage in her career. Amanda will join Philip Morris International as the company's Southwest Regional Director for State Governmental Affairs, where she will continue her work as a tireless tobacco harm reduction advocate. As a, do you want me to keep going? Do you want me to read the, read the whole thing? Of course. Okay. As Amanda moves into an advisory role with AVM, we are excited to welcome Char Owen and Alson, I don't know that, Bo Boner? Boner? <laughs> That's what I have when I look at you, baby. Oh, thank you. As our incoming president and vice president, respectively. Under their leadership, we will remain committed to helping our members navigate a challenging regulatory environment and holding public officials and reporters accountable. We would like to thank Amanda for making AVM the center of gravity in the battle for the right to switch to nicotine vaping. Among our many victories under her stewardship, AVM has exposed rampant corruption at the FDA and uncovered the network of billionaire donors funding anti-vaping astroturf groups and prohibitionist causes. 
We will build on the groundwork Amanda laid as we defend the right of all Americans to lead smoke-free lives through the use of big tobacco products. Oh, did I, I'm sorry. That part wasn't there. That part wasn't there. So, um, listen, <laughs> I have a problem with the announcement. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, when, when, when the, can, can you center your, I'm sorry. Can you center yourself just a little bit before you start? Where, where do you want me to center? There you go. There you go. There you go. There? Yeah. On, that's my camera. Okay. Yeah. So listen, okay. uh, when, when the association that came out of nowhere, when everything was falling apart and said, we are here to save open vapor, uh, as the AVM, you know, presented itself and. Uh, it makes an announcement that the president advances to the next stage. Listen to the wording of this advances to the next stage of the, her career. That's bad wording. <laughs> Again, listen, I like Amanda. I wish her nothing but the best in her career. Agreed. Her career choices. And I truly do not wish upon her the stuff that I have endured since 2015 in this industry, which mm. we're going to talk about a little bit later. I really don't. I have nothing personal against Amanda or her choice to go work uh, for PMI. I wish her nothing but success. But as a group, as a group that you take money from the open and the independent vapor industry, you cannot make a PR announcement saying that the president is advancing. The wording is really, really bad. And it's a shocking to me that even if you have a PR firm that allowed you to use this wording, advancing to the next step of your career what does that mean that you use the avm as a stepping stone by taking money from the industry allowing you the right and the privilege to go and fight for open paper including trips to washington dc meeting with lawmakers mingling with big tobacco lobbyists and big tobacco companies making networking relationships in order for you to go to the next step of your career it's great if this is what your goal is it's fantastic there's nothing wrong with it i have called this in the past there's many people out there that would love to have the opportunity that amanda got there's a lot of people i've said it on the show multiple times that there's a lot of people in advocacy in vaping that are using it as a stepping stone to go into that next level and get that job security uh, and, you know, PMI, BAT, Japan Tobacco International, these are all job security. This is a good company. PMI is a great company to work for. Um, great benefits, great salary, uh, security, 401ks, a great health plan. It's, it's, it's a fantastic news for Amanda. What really bothers me about this, Phil, is that there's people out there that are really going to bat defending Amanda taking this position. And I can't. I can't do that. And I'm going to tell you for various reasons. Number one, if this was anybody else, if this was Gregory Conley, if this was Dimitri Agrafiotis, if this was Grim Green, we would be burned. At, we, would be, we would be crucified on a fucking cross for the internet to enjoy. Well, there's Amanda's a nice... Pretty yeah. blonde girl that that gets a little bit of slack, um, and things are not as bad. It also shows that vaping is dead in America. Because if this was 2016 or 2017, even Amanda will probably be crucified. To be honest with you, and I don't want this for her. I don't. I've been through this. I've been through people threatening me and my family. I wouldn't want that for her. I really wouldn't. Um, so the, the entire thing is a little bit fucked up from the sense that people don't understand that Amanda's move in advancing to the next step of her career is fantastic for Amanda, but it's not going to do anything for open vapor. Yes. Yeah. She's going to go into a role that's going to fight for harm reduction as far as the PMI strategy plan of being a smoke free future for the company. We understand that PMI has announced that they're looking for a smoke free uh, future by 2030. However, PMI also wants monopoly of the market. So there's absolutely no scenario where open vapor, unsalted, or any kind of liquid 
uh, is going to be saved under this advancement of the career. It's plain and simple. And if anybody tells you anything different, um, they're clueless, they're romantically involved, or they're simply trying to save face. And I feel bad for, you know, you know who I feel bad for is, is Nick. You know, I, Grim Green put a video out there today. I, and, you know, I appreciate what he's trying to do. I get it. I understand. But he's going to regret it. Uh, because four years ago, Nick, you have a video which I have saved in my, and you know, I don't want to blow my book all in one show. I really don't, because I had that video saved from my book. And, and I'm not going to play it now, but you have it, and I have it saved, even if you delete it. You have a video four years ago calling me out and the VTA saying, well, I don't want to fucking support the VTA because I don't care what Dimitri is saying. VTA might be in bed with Big Tobacco, and Tony Abood might be a Big Tobacco lobbyist, and fuck him, I don't want to support him. Uh, and there you go. There's the fucking uh, flyer that was made <laughs> in, uh, in uh, 2017. This was made by Stefan Didak. Ironically, he works for Juul, which is Big Tobacco now, but this flyer was made by Stefan Didak in 2017, uh, and it was promoted by Christopher Price, which used to be a SPADA chapter president, with the blessing of Cynthia Cabrera, uh, which was the SPADA executive director at the time. And right there on the bottom, there's my face uh, that says, why does Dimitri want you to support Big Tobacco? And this is what Grim Green was supporting at the time. And now he's making a video for a van. It's a little bit ironic and it's a little bit disheartening, but, you know, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't amaze me. It, you know, it's nothing. But be very careful. If you're going to go out in the public right now of what you're going to say, because you will regret it one day. That's all I'm going to say as far as that. I wish her nothing but the best. And this is what everybody should do. Wish you nothing but the best on the success of your career, Amanda. But to think that this move, and it's not just her, Paul Blair uh, joined uh, PMI as well, too. Um, and there's going to probably going to be a couple more moves. You're going to see a couple more people joining uh, uh, Philip Morris International. I wish him nothing but success. I like Paul. I like Amanda as well, too. But people that are going out there saying that this move is going to help vaping, it's going to help open vapor, you're out of your fucking minds, people. You're out of your fucking minds. Um, as somebody that has been accused of being big tobacco since 2016, that flyer that you just saw almost ended my relationship with Phil. Almost. That flyer right there that was made for me with no substance, no evidence, no, no truth, no facts, this flyer almost ended the relationship with me and Phil. So be careful what you wish for, folks. That's all I'm going to say. I want to take... Comments. I want to take um, um, questions from the chat today, so I'll be able to address them right now and end any kind, of, any maybe convolution that you have or any confusion that you're going to have on my statement. Uh, but I stand by it, and Phil will tell you that privately, privately, I have told Phil that this was going to happen, and Phil, yeah. <clears throat> dispute me if I'm wrong. No, um, th there's a lot of things here. First of all, you could say that you were vindicated or you were right again. Um, when I saw the announcement and I saw, I, I, like, I got a lot of messages from a lot of different people. And, and there were, I, I'm the same way that you are, right? I wish her well. Uh, I think any of us have a price or a career plan or, you know, hopes of advancement. And I think either of you, if we were approached by PMI and the dollar amount was right and, you know, it was communicated the right way to us and, and our roles and responsibilities were a certain way, I think either of us would, would go down that same route, right? Uh, but when I see, like, this is good for open vapor, w w one of the things that you've always said is that, Yes, big, tova big Tobacco wants to play in the vapor space, but they want to be the only ones playing in the vapor right. space, right? And the small mom and pops, the unsalted makers of watermelon peach, the number one best-selling flavor in the unsalted line. I needed Cheers. another one. What do they care about open vapor? What do they care about? Flavors. We've seen Big Tobacco back down off of flavors so many times, right? 
what do they care about uh you know open devices and maybe that's the future it's mm-hmm. not my future it's sure. not how i enjoy uh vaping sure. you know sure. but i i can't see how this is good for a certain segment of the industry right yeah I, I, let me address the, the comment that Janine and Janine, I've seen you on Twitter. It, 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 listen, Janine, I love you. But, you know, I'm always fair and balanced. So I don't take this personally. I've seen you on Twitter replying to tweets and stuff like that. And you really shouldn't be doing this. And, and I say this with all love and respect to you. Because you say we can all speculate the reasons Amanda chose to make this move. Truth is, we don't know. And I don't give a shit. Good for her. Congratulations for her. But you or anybody else cannot tell me that this move was made to advance open vapor in America. There's absolutely no facts anywhere that can support that based on the history. As somebody that has dealt with big tobacco for the last decade, I've been in rooms with big tobacco. I've been in private meetings with big tobacco. I have talked to lobbyists constantly from big tobacco on open vapor. They have absolutely no reason for it. Again, Harm reduction, yes. You know what this is going to be? Iquos in America. Now that all the hurdles have been cleared, Iquos is going to come out and do a big marketing strategy on harm reduction, which is heat, not burn product. It's not an open vapor, refillable liquid. It's not. I'm telling you right now that this is the goal of PMI bringing in harm reduction advocates. It's not to save open vapor. Again, this is not a personal attack to Amanda or Paul or anybody. I respect both of them. They're both, I consider them my friends. But I'm also going to be completely fair and honest with you. This has nothing to do with her decision. Her decision is her decision. It's not my business to tell her what she's going to do with her family. I know what these lobbyists make between 90 and 130,000 a year. You have really good benefits. Really, if this is the number that made her happy, and this is what what drove her to do this decision, good for her. I'm happy for her. It has nothing to do with vaping as we know it, and it will never be. Our model of vaping does not fit big tobacco. Period. There is no case scenario you're going to see a 60 mil bottle of liquid. I don't care if it's watermelon peach, which is the number one selling uh, flavor in the unsalted line. Oh, should I get a shot ready? Uh, or your favorite milk or what, whatever it is, whatever. You're never going to see this under a PMI brand or any big tobacco brand. It does not fit the model of the business. So this is one of the reasons why we, at least I can only speak about me and Phil, is we've tried to make our living by working and working hard <laughs> by trying to keep open vapor alive. And this is what's important to us because we know that this is – what has worked for us, and it has worked for millions of people across the world. Open vapor is the best choice. Limiting options for smokers is the worst <laughs> choice, and it does not work. We've seen this in the past. It just does not work. So, Janine and everybody else out there, all I'm asking you is to be cautious, be careful on what you say, because everything that you say, I put it in my hard drive for my book. Everything. Everything. And not you, Jenny, <laughs> but people, oh, let's say there are personalities in this industry or that, uh, you know, um, have a voice that's a little bit loud. I keep everything and I keep it for this reason. So I can turn around and show you a flyer from 2016 that put my face on Big Tobacco. But in 2023, today is January 11th, 2023. I'm still designing with Phil the next AIO open vapor for the Z Coil series. Today, in fucking 2023, when this flyer came out in 2016, am I bitter that people have accused me and slandered me and all this? Yeah, of course I'm bitter. <laughs> of course not. But I'm still here. I'm still here trying to do my thing. I'm still here with Phil trying to promote open vapor. The moment that you step away from that, it's over with. There's no going back. There's nothing that you can go back. And to be fair, I am. I mean, I never gave money to the AVM, me personally, because I knew. But the people that have contributed money to this organization on this promise by Amanda Wheeler that I'm going to be here to help, I'm going to be here to uh, save open vapor, I'm going to fight for you, I'm going to do this. How do you think these people feel? How do you think the people that actually created the stepping 
uh, of the advancement career of Amanda Wheeler feel the people that actually contributed money to the AVM to send Amanda to Washington, D.C., to lobby, to fight. Those are the people I'm thinking about as an advocate and as somebody that has, you know, advocated for this industry for this last decade. I would feel bad. I would feel betrayed. I would feel, you know, at least give us a little bit of warning, not just, you know, put an announcement out there. Hey, guess what? The president of AVM that I've been giving money for the last two years is moving on to PMI. Um, so just be cautious, just be careful. And uh, I don't want to see memes with uh, Amanda on there like me, you know, and all this. I, I don't want to see that. I really don't. She's uh, she, you know, she's got a family, she's got kids and all that. And I would never wish that on my worst enemy. What I went through, I would not wish it on my worst enemy. Um, but also the fact that you're not seeing that, like, where's the vaping legion, you know, and all this, can you imagine if this was, you know, when, when vaping legion was around and all that, can you imagine what would have happened to feel? I mean, well, we be. got, <laughs> we got, <laughs> I had threats on my family, bro, you know, on, on, from, from people that were like associated with the Le vaping legion. It just goes to show you that vaping is dead in America. The community aspect of vaping is dead in America because really nobody gives a shit. And you know, that's, it's unfortunate. It's sad. Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna say that it, it really does speak to the, uh, to the state of vaping that, um, there really isn't more outrage. Oh, all, uh, I mean, I can't say that because I'm not on those, those, you know, those pages and I don't look at those groups, but you don't see like if this was back in the day, there would be tons of videos being done on this. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. and you just don't see it anymore. If anybody has any comments or questions on this issue, please throw it I in the chat. Comment. I have a comment right here. Uh, this is from Bill. I agree. PMI will want just themselves protected. I still uh, can't blame Amanda or Paul taking the career and financial opportunity, especially since this industry doesn't really provide finances to even fight. So disappointed, but not surprised. Can't blame her. I agree fully with Bill. Only thing I do hate, however, is suddenly Vapor's jumping into a full attack of she's a trader and has been a, a big tobacco plant from the start. Just Vapor's have suddenly turned on you and feel when Stefan Dickass put out that flyer. Uh, I agree. And I don't want that. I told you from since I started this segment, I told you I do not want that for Amanda. I really don't. But don't think. Don't think at any point that this move, this stepping stone is is made to help open, open vapor. It's, it's, it's not. It's, it, but in, and it never will, because I personally know. I have talked to the top executives of every big tobacco company in the world. There is no room in a portfolio of a big tobacco company for open vapor. It's just not possible. There's no, there's just no possibility that that is going to happen. And I'm telling you right now, I'll go on the record and everything I've always said has been on the record and I've always been vindicated. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. All right. Phil, put, <clears throat> pick some comments out if you want. Yeah. Like, like to, to, to Patrick, how, you know, remembering her roots, how can you fight for something that is in direct competition with the company you now work for, right? I don't, I just don't understand that, right? She works for PMI. How does she fight for open vapor when open vapor is their direct competition? Yeah. Alan Smith basically is, had a very good comment. Big Tobacco wants to support harm reduction by putting their own vape products on the market at your local gas station. What you see is enjoy ace, my blue views and jewel pod devices. You're exactly right, Alan. They know, I mean, Big Tobacco knows that, that, uh, uh, lower harm alternative nicotine products is the future. They know it. There's just no doubt about it. Even Views put out a disposable product, and PMI is putting out a disposable product in Europe soon. Um, you're absolutely right. Of course they know that there's a demand for it. So there's two ways to do this. One, eliminate the competition. And to eliminate competition, you use laws. You use lobbying power to eliminate the competition, PMTA, flavor bands, so forth and so forth. And number two is you insert your products into the points of sale where smokers go. These are the two, that's the same strategy that Big Tobacco has always used. And 
Me personally, I have fought, and, and I'm going to make my announcement, my, my Tennessee Smoke Free, uh, smoke, uh, Tennessee smoke Free Association announcement in a little bit. But my, in, in the last eight years that I have fought on a state level, I have always gone against Big Tobacco. I have always gone as against Big Tobacco. Um, so when we get on Twitter as a group, right, these Twitter fanatics, where there's like 100 of us right now, it's, it's like a Twitter vape group. We go and we try to defend vapor. And doctors from across the world say, oh, you're just big tobacco shields, or you're paid by big tobacco to promote those products. We can say we're not. But guess what? They can't say, Amanda can't say that anymore. Think about this, Janine and everybody else. Think about how many times on Twitter you have seen this. Oh, these people are just paid big tobacco shields. They're promoting the big tobacco uh, propaganda and the new generation of nicotine addicts, they're trying to hook them. And we've always been able to say, no, we're not. But now they can. They can say that this person that led this association of uh, vapor manufacturers in the United States that claimed all this time that they're not big tobacco and they're independent is working for, it's, uh, this is gonna be a little bit brutal. I'm sorry, Amanda, but this is like saying Scott Gottlieb that was the head of the FDA left and went to go work for Pfizer. Exactly the same. It's exactly the same. I, I mean, I'm sorry. This, and, and I'm making this as a generalization of what we're expecting to see uh, in the future or, or over the course of the next six months of people saying exactly the same thing. Oh, you're not a big tobacco shield? Uh, your president of the Vapor Association is working for Philip Morris International now. How can you combat that? We can't. We can. And one of the reasons why I'm making the announcement today for TSFA is this. This this is the the this was the catalyst for me to to do that. Yeah, I see a couple comments in there, and I have to I I, I got to agree this, with that because it's it's one of the things that, that that I've been saying over and over again. I honestly do not believe big tobacco when they talk about their interest in tobacco harm reduction at all. I'm sorry. I don't, I believe You're right. You're right, that, Joe. that big tobacco is concerned with their bottom line. I think big tobacco is concerned, um, paying their bills and paying all their shareholders. Yeah. Uh, I believe that big tobacco is going to say whatever they need to say to be in the good graces of, of those that could potentially shut them down. Right. You know, if, if, if big tobacco was so concerned, if they were so concerned with tobacco harm reduction, right. Then take all your fucking cigarettes off the market and 100%. go full vapor right now. Take all your cigarettes off the market and go full vapor right now. If that's, if that's truly what you believe, if you believe so much in getting rid of cigarettes and believe so much of t in tobacco harm reduction, then take them all off the market, okay? But I, I don't think that's what Big Tobacco wants. I think Big Tobacco wants the dollars. Uh, Facebook says, uh, Dimitri, wouldn't you prefer to have someone like Amanda, someone who is passionate about open vapor and its harmony redu reduction impact, fill that job as opposed to someone who doesn't care about us? I'm happy for her. <laughs> But there's no open vapor space in big tobacco. So I'm not sure what your comment is about. Again, you're blindsided. You're blindsided by this pretty face that came out very, very passionate, trying to fight for vapor and convoluting it with the reality. And the reality is, and I saw a comment from Sally earlier, you don't know what her job is going to be there. I will tell you right now, it's going to be pushing Icos, which is going to be heat, not burn. I'm just going on the record, you know, fuck you. I don't give a shit if you believe me or not, but I'm telling you what it's going to be. Um, because uh, this is the next step from PMI, and it's going to be heat not burn in America now that the, the lawsuits have been, uh, have been cleared out. <laughs> Put that aside. Put that aside. Wouldn't I care? Yes, if Phil got a job with Big Tobacco, 
Wouldn't I be happy for him? I, I would be happy. And I'm happy for I, Amanda. I really am. But don't believe at, or think at any given time that this is going to be good for open vapor. It's not. And I'm only talking about open vapor. This is all I'm talking about. There is absolutely no room in the big tobacco model for open vapor products. It does not work. It does not work with their governments. It doesn't work with the deals that they have made with the governments. It doesn't work with the tax money. It doesn't work with the payoffs that they have. It doesn't work with the 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 uh, master settlement agreements that they have it does not work an open vapor product does not work for the big tobacco model period it just does not work okay you know years and years and years ago i i told dimitri i'm i, I told him I'm, i said i'm very surprised i'm very surprised when we were at the top of our game reviews traveling yeah. all over the place right um i was really surprised that big tobacco didn't come after us Mm -hmm. Right. And the, the reason why is because I thought that we could bridge that gap. Sure. Right. And this is before PMTA and this is before flavor bands, before everything. But we could bridge that gap between smokers and vapors through big tobacco. Right. And I was yep. really I, to this day, I'm surprised that they didn't come after us. And had they come after us back then. Right. I would have said yes. Of course, depending on the dollar amount. Sure. Right. But, I mean, but, we, we make we make more money than we, we yeah. would have offered. But I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, I would have said yes. But again, let's go into my my head. Right. And this is where we can't get into Amanda's head. So, you know, we can speculate and we can say things and Dimitri can say things like I might have a different opinion. And I don't know where Amanda's head is, and I don't know what she can, what she thinks that she can achieve and and accomplish with this position. Maybe, maybe it is all good things. I don't trust Big Tobacco, right? Also, I trust, feel, remember, remember. Well, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish yeah. my thought. Like I trust Amanda much more than I trust Big Tobacco, sure. 100%. right? But if you get into my head and thinking back then, I would be like, yes, I could. I could use Big Tobacco's money and platform to have an even bigger platform to get people away from tobacco cigarettes onto vaping products and potentially save more lives, right? Sure. But but everything's changed now. Everything's a little bit different. You know, with with how vaping is, especially with how vaping is in America, it's much different now. And if I was approached at this point, I don't know where where I would be. But go ahead, Dick. In 2019, I asked this question to a representative. I, I can't say his name for obvious reasons, but very high up, very high up guy in uh, National Tobacco, uh, which is like the biggest small tobacco company in, in, uh, in the United States. I had this conversation. We were at a vape show in Las Vegas, and I sat down with him, and I said, why people like me and Phil wouldn't be in, big tobacco wouldn't be interested? And he flat out told me, there is absolutely no model in the United States that open vapor would work for big tobacco whether it's a large or a small company as National Tobacco. Not work. It just does not work. There is no future in it. The PMTA itself is a roadblock for people like me and Phil. Right, right. Because what do we make? We make uh, the award-winning uh, as light <laughs> Um, great uh, mouth to lung and RDL atomizer. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, That's a major award winner. Major, major award winner. Major award winner. Um, we make this life. It just does not fit that model. So I get it. But at the end of the day, we were fortunate enough to set up our future and, and the way that we feed our families that we're not dependent on that. We're not looking for a stepping stone. We never use the industry as a stepping stone. Uh, to advance into a big tobacco. If they did come along and they offered in a you know a seven figure uh, n a number with a private jet, whores and cocaine, uh, you know maybe I would I would consider it. But um, but it, we just do not fit that model. We don't fit that model. Um, 
But nonetheless, nonetheless. And, and by the way, for the record, our model is dwindling, and we're still here. Yes. 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 I mean, you got to say something. You got to at least give us give us a little pat on the back, right? I mean, look look at what ha what's happened to vaping in the states, right? And we're still yeah. here. We're still holding course. We're still pushing for open vapor products. We're still designing. We're yeah. still within again. We're we're releasing new. We might even mention it on the show tonight. New unsalted flavors. Unsalted, of course. The 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 brand that carries uh, watermelon peach, the number one best-selling flavor in the unsalted yes. line, which I enjoy. Cheers. Every I day. Drink, but I'll drink another time. Every day. Every day. That might be connected to the stocking contest. I, I'm, not, I'm just guessing. I don't know. It could possibly be. Oh, my God. You're right. I totally forgot that. In addition to all of the hardware that you saw in the stocking contest, yeah. you're going to get the full line including the new gourmet flavors that we oh might talk God. that don't we talk might talk about, about don't, don't give it away don't that give we it might away. we might talk about tonight in a nicotine strength of your choice of your yeah. choice and larry i saw what you wrote a, wrote before about getting inside my head i have a hold on i have this for you how dare you okay there we go but 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 ultimately to just to end this to end this um this, don't end this don't end it we, don't we end really we, we drove it too much don't let it ever end how can you go work for a company that was the foundation of the PMTA? Okay. Yeah, the right. foundation of the PMTA came from this company. The PMTA was designed to eliminate competition and to eliminate small businesses. And people like me feel uh, in small e-liquid companies in America, eliminate them from the market. Hey, wait a second. Speaking of that, don't they have an e-liquid line? Yes. Right? Don't don't yes. how does that play into it? Um I mean I don't know. I mean listen, I can't blame her I can't blame her or Paul or anybody, you know, getting the job. I, I can't. This is for she has a family, she has kids, whatever she needs to do is 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 fantastic. But how can you go and work for the people that created the PMTA, which is the deal with the devil created to eliminate competition. That's what you need to think about yourself. Grim Green, Janine, and everybody else out there. Just think about that. This, that in itself should at least give you some concern of not putting yourself out there because you might regret it a year, or two years, three years from now, or maybe even, even sooner. I'm always careful on what I say, but trust me, on the stuff that I say, I say it with facts, and uh, I can back it up. Um, and time has shown that 99.9% .9 of the time, I am right, Phil. It is true. It's your Reggie came to visit. You want to say something? All right. Here's your uh, mic. Say it. Nothing? Okay. Nope. That's a good boy. But I do wish them well. I hope they're successful in whatever they're trying to do. Yes, I wish her, I wish her well. I, really, I truly do. And hopefully she can do some good. Um, I don't see how that could, uh, you know, with being PMI, I don't have to see how that can happen. But uh, let's hope she can use the platform for some good. I do have an announcement to make tonight. Oh, he's so loud and annoying tonight. Not you. No, the, my cat is as well, too. I don't know. We brought the Leo from America here to be with Maria, my daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, her cat. From, and he's just, he's just fucking just like he gets the zoomies at like one o'clock in the morning. He's just like, oh. <laughs> oh, shut up. Stop. Uh, I'll remember it, Janine. I'll remember. I remember everything, baby. That's what that's one of my my. I hate that about me. I hate, I hate, I hate when I'm right. I really do. I hate when I'm right. And I'm usually right. All right. Uh, announcement time. Uh, this is uh, for me. Okay. Here we go. You can bring it up. What's up? Effective uh, the 2023 session, after much thought and reflection, I have decided to step down as director of the Tennessee Smoke Free Association, where I proudly served the vaping community for eight years. 
I will continue to offer my services as a trade organization consultant on a as, as needed basis. Oh, by the way, uh, what Dimitri's reading may not match what's up on the screen. He's been changing it all day long. Yes, so. yes. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> uh, that's why I put the put the uh, the pictures that I sent you. Those those are the most. Uh, no, I can't get to those right away. I, okay. I'm I'm only near perfect. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. This decision was not reached with ease. The TSFA was the first independent trade organization in the country, a model developed by me and replicated with great success in many other states. Protecting the independent vapor businesses within the state while having to acquire successful lobby representation for the industry was always the goal. Since our launch in 2014, we successfully fought a lot of battles, and some of our most notable are. We passed the Prevention of Youth Access to Tobacco and Vapor Products Act in 2017, where age restrictions were put into place. Within the 2017-2018 year, over 17 bills were monitored. During that time, we successfully defeated efforts to increase the age restrictions from 18 plus to 19 plus, a bill that would have prohibited vaping in a car with a minor, and efforts to expand the Non-Smoker Protection Act to vaping indoor air ban. In 2019 to 2020 year, over 23 bills were monitored. Once again, TSFA successfully defeated numerous bills that would have increased the age restrictions to 21 plus. Although once the national bill requiring 21 plus passed at the end of 2019, we complied with the state of Tennessee to pass 21 plus in 2020. Prohibited vaping car with a minor and efforts to tax vaping products in a manner that would have given closed systems more favorable tax rates also was defeated. In 2021, 2022, while monitoring over 17 bills, many were successfully defeated, such as the Reeves Smith bill preventing another tax, the RGR bill that would have essentially banned flavors by creating an FDA approval status based registry in Tennessee, also within that same 2021, 2022 year. TSFA created and passed our own bill that added vaping to the state preemption for tobacco regulation. That was a huge win while compromising on the indoor air ban. In total, since 2014, we have monitored over 100 bills that would have impacted the industry with a handful of those being devastating in the way we would operate. We successfully defeated them all. In 2018, we launched the TSFA PAC, the Political Action Committee. The PAC was successfully funded for a number of years indirectly, as well as positively impacted the way Tennessee lawmakers view our industry. The credit for all this does not come from one person alone. If it weren't for the committed business professionals who put their heart, soul, and money every single year to fight for vapor's rights in a successful vaping industry, my vision and strategy for the state would never have been possible. In spite of the drama, accusations, and even slander, I proudly maintain my dignity, for my focus was always towards the course of the association to ensure fairness for the vaping industry as a whole. I step down today, filled with the satisfaction of knowing that Tennessee is one of the least regulated vape states in the country. Also, I would like to give a great note of thanks and appreciation to my volunteer team, most notably, the late Eric Peterson, Nick Crumley, who is always by my side, Tiffany Everett, and just too many to list one by one. No, I am not joining Philip Morris International, as <laughs> seems to be the trend lately. However, my work is expanding in Europe, and as much as it pains me, I cannot give my standard 110% as I would wish on matters stateside. Part of my advocacy does continue overseas, where I have taken on the role of vice president of the Greek Vapor Trade Association, also known as SEPA. Because you need more to do. Yeah. I am committed to open vapor as I have always been. I continue to make open vapor designs for Anakin technology, as well as expand my chain of dedicated vape stores called Liquid Puff. And most recently, and this is the big scoop for the DP show tonight, I have joined Monster Vape Labs as their European Director of Operations, expanding the brand into the overseas market. The TSFA is not over. Simply a new chapter is born. I turn over the reins to a group of dedicated Tennessee vendors that have chosen to step up and continue building the foundation that has been laid throughout these years. I ask you to fully support them, both financially and by responding to calls of action as needed, especially in this 2023 session where we expect some bad legislation once again. I again want to thank everyone that supported me and the Tennessee Smoke Free Association over the years, but my biggest thanks, especially to those who mocked, harassed, and slandered me. Hmm. It was your envy 
your vile words and your negative actions that drove me to success and will continue to do so in the coming years. Wow. Respectfully, Dimitris Agrafiotis. Congratulations. I don't know hey, whether to congratulate or to cry or to be sad for Tennessee. <laughs> to be cry. Like, cry. There's a lot going on there. Um, the, the, the one thing that I will say about that is that I'm a little surprised that your biggest thanks didn't go to me. But other than that, I think it's a very, very well written. Um, although even, even the one that you sent me wasn't accurate anymore. So clearly you're thinking about this a lot. And you're putting a lot of time and effort into making sure that you say your words just the right way. Yes. Um, are we frozen? No, we should. Okay. Are we? I don't know. For my Zoom is frozen for some reason. Hold on a second. Let me see. Okay, it's it's back now. Okay. Okay. We're good. All right. So uh, congratulations, buddy. Congratulations on the Monster Jam. I, I know you've been uh, working with Monster Jam for uh, a long time, um, and like, dude, I don't want to blow vapor up your ass, right? But uh, you can you can lick it if you want to. Though. I just don't know how <laughs> you do it all, right? Because like you know, yeah. you you write that impressive thing and how you're stepping down, and I'm thinking to myself, well, let's see, what have I done with my life? Well, I've dedicated more time to the hot tub every day. I know I've done that. Yeah. Um, I like to tan as much as possible. Okay. Uh, I like to do that. I like to ride my bike and I like to walk uh, every day. I like to do that. Uh, I need to spend more time with Larry. And I like to do that. Um, but you, you just like, you're a fucking animal, man. You're a machine. You just keep going and going and going. And it's, Thanks, buddy. I it's appreciate just that. so impressive, man. I, like, good for you, dude. It, it, it means a lot to uh, come in from you. Um, you know, we have the Dash Vapes uh, project in Greece and my stores and, the trade association that I'm vice president here in, in, in Europe and uh, working with IEVA as well, too, which is the pan-European trade association and the Nick bars and uh, my, my kids. And it, it, I, so I, if people might know this from previous shows that we've talked about it. I've been a consultant for uh, uh, Monster Vape Labs, uh, Jam Monster, as it's known in the United States for uh, four years now. Uh, my company, Global eVapor Consultant, filed their PMTAs. Um, I consult them on on various matters, um, both domestically and internationally. And um, I'm proud to announce that uh, we we made a deal this past week of launching their uh, uh, their EU operations. I will um, build their logistics center in Greece as well, too, uh, meaning that. Um, it, it, this is the first time that a U.S. e-liquid company has done this. Uh, I have to put that out there as well, too. Um, that they come into the European market with a strategy and a plan of, guess what? We're just not going to dump liquid into the to a country and then take off like we've seen with multiple U.S. liquid companies over the years. But we're here to uh, be part of uh, the European uh, vape community, and we're here to provide service. We're here to provide customer service. We're here to provide products uh, in a timely manner uh, from an EU country to another EU country uh, and build uh, the the Jam Monster name uh, as it should be because they do have fabulous products. And uh, so, yeah, I signed the contract today with uh, with uh, Sunny and Sean. Uh, I've known these guys for a very, very long time. And uh, I am uh, now the EU Director of Operations for the company. I'm very, very excited and looking forward to continuing uh, promoting Open Vapor. They have really great, uh, you know, uh, uh, Open Vapor liquid and their disposables as well, too. But, you know, what they're really known for is, you know, Strawberry Jam, uh, the Fruit Monster on Ice, you know, some of the stuff that, that, that has really been the staple of their company. A lot of people think about Jam Monster, and they don't realize it's a top three e-liquid company in the United States right now. In fact, over the last three years, the open vapor sales for Jam Monster have continued to increase instead of uh, declining that we've seen a lot of companies uh, in the U.S. Uh, announce. So um, the, the, the bread and butter is open vapor liquid, and I'm very, very proud to be part of it. And uh as far as the Tennessee Smoke Free Association is concerned, you know what I've been through uh, for the last eight, nine years and the battles that I have fought. Um, 
I'm sad because it's my baby. It's a model that I built from yeah. scratch <clears throat> by myself. And a lot of uh, people remember, mirrored a, a lot of people mirrored that model. Uh, you remember when I built that model, a lot of people were against it because it threatened the livelihood of Cynthia Cabrera Espada and Casa and all these other people. Wait for the book for the details on that. Um, but it's a model that was uh, given to people that cared in other states like Florida Smoke Free Association, Georgia Smoke Free Orlando. Association, yep, and other states yep. that were very successful with it as well, <clears> too. Uh, so I'm very, very proud of that. But it's also my baby. So I feel, you know, I feel like I'm just like, you know, I'm handing over my baby. But uh, some people in the States, uh, Danny Gillis uh, with um, Severe Vapor, uh, uh, Terry uh, from Knoxville Vapor, um, Chattanooga Vapor Company with Promote, they stepped up and they said, well, we want to continue what you have built and we will uh, take over the Tennessee Smoke Free Association. So I'm very proud that at least they're going to continue that. And I hope they're successful. I want people to support them both financially and both uh, with encouragement uh, of of what they're trying to attempt, but I'm done. I'm done, and and I feel good about it. I took time away from my family. I took time away from my kids on a volunteer basis to fight for this industry in Tennessee. And I'm proud to leave right now undefeated. I have never lost a bill in the state legislature. Thanks a lot to the vendors that, that supported that, but also our lobbying firm, Bass, Barry, and Sims, and especially Erica Vick, which is my personal lobbyist in the state of Tennessee, um, for the guidance over the last eight years and the help that they have provided. And I'm proud to leave undefeated. I have never lost a bill in Tennessee. And if that's going to be my legacy in vaping, if it's not going to be the Zenith tank uh, or pink mods, <laughs> uh, if, if I leave a legacy, I want to leave a legacy that in 2023, when I stepped down, I left the state of Tennessee in the, it's probably one of the least regulated states in, in the country. And, uh, and I left without ever losing a, a bill. And I'm very, very proud of that. And you know, and, and you should be, like I said, um, your model was mirrored by a lot of different states. I know you, um, you consulted with other states to help <laughs> them get their associations off the ground. Um, I know uh, Nick Orlando, uh, you helped him, and they've been very, very successful in, in helping Florida. And they've been very appreciative to me as well, too, which I really respect that. I really appreciate it. I, it's, it's not me. I help, but ultimately it falls to people like Nick Orlando to yeah. be successful with it, and they have been successful with it. Yeah. And to, um, to Patrick, who says it's because uh, I'm old and retired. How would you like to suck my butt? There you go. That's for you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wh what does your shirt say on the sleeve? Do you know? Do you have any idea? It's uh, Tommy. Tommy. No, is that, it it's says Tommy. Figure. Oh, you, you okay. know what? When it comes up just a little bit, it looks like Chinese writing. <laughs> it's not, it, it totally it's, does. It's it totally does. on the side. It says Hill figure okay. on the side. You're a big Hill figure fan. I know. I am. But, I am. Uh, hey, you know, congratulations to you. It's, uh, you, you know, you, you've made your mark there. Uh, you, you've been extremely successful there. And you just got too much going on. You can't do that too, especially since you're spending more time in Greece now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 So good for you. Uh, good for you. By the way. Um, oh, and one other thing too, like with your relationship with Monster Jam, right? Yeah. Jam Monster. Jam, Jam Monster. Monster. I, I know they're they're amazing at promoting. I mean, can you like talk them into promoting Unsalted, especially no. uh, Watermelon Peach, the number one best selling flavor in the Unsalted no, line? I can't. Can, I can't. Can, can we make that happen? I mean, you know. You, I can't. I, I but think I can, but I can at. get them to promote, uh, you know, uh, Jam Monster Liquids. And I, I, listen, it, you have to understand that how much respect I have for Jam Monster because they know that you know we're doing unsalted and we're doing all this. And if, if, from a business perspective, I want to make Jam Monster the number one brand in in, in Europe because I believe in their products and I believe in, in what they're doing. And the guys are really. Um, focused. They have a, a, a very good plan that I've been fortunate enough to be part of and I've been building for the last year for them. Um, it doesn't change our relationship with uh, Matt and you and, and you know what we're doing with the Unsalted line. Uh, our products are a little bit more niche, you know, for pods and MTL, um, but they don't care. You know, they never told me, oh, you need to stop, uh, you know, being with Phil or being with Matt or you need to stop being with Inakin and all that because they know that if I'm going to say I'm committed to something, and you know this, 
if I say I'm going to go all in, I go all in. You and do. This is exactly what I'm doing. So, uh, like, what would the dollar amount be? Or what? For Jam Monster uh, to say, hey, look, um, you have to end re- your relationship with Phil. Uh, so, more than Amanda Willer's salary. That's for sure. <laughs> I was hoping for that number. Okay, good. Good for you. <laughs> All right, good. I was a little bit worried there. Kenny, thank you very much for getting the uh, uh, the unsalted uh, flavors, man. I hope you're enjoying them. And you, you don't – uh, look, watermelon peach doesn't have to be – it's the number one best-selling flavor in the unsalted line, but it doesn't have to be your yeah. favorite. So don't feel bad if it's not your favorite, okay? Hey, listen, I want to thank the guys at the Saturday Night Live show that we were on like two, three weeks ago. I mean, these guys, I was, you know, we've been on a lot of shows, guests and stuff like that, but we, I, we had a lot of fun with these guys. And second of all, the questions that they had set up for us were I really, them. really good. And, and this is what makes a good show. And, and they told us after the show was the best show that they had. So we really appreciate those, those good comments over there. But uh, for us, it was one of the best shows that we've been guests on as well, too. So if you haven't seen it, go to the Saturday Night Live show. The guys from the UK, they're just great guys. We had a lot of fun being on there and support them and subscribe to their channel and, uh, and show them some love. And we gave away some unsalted liquid or whatever. But, but that's not the point. The point is that we had a great time. We did. We had a great time. And you know, look, the worst show you can do is like, What's your favorite device? What's your favorite liquid? What are you vaping on right now? Fucking lame, dude. Seriously boring. We've done that a billion times before. But they had some like really weird off the wall questions. Like, see, that's what I would want to know. Like, if I were to interview you, it wouldn't be uh, like well, you yeah. said it all when it comes to vaping, right? Sure. I want to know what's in your refrigerator, right? Yeah. I want to know. I don't want to know what's in your underwear drawer. No, Take and you don't want to know what's in my bedroom. Either. I don't want to know any of that. No. I, it's frightening to think about. Yeah, so. No. Question, yeah. when is this book coming out from 3D? Listen, we have <laughs> to retire from vaping industry to put this book out. We can't put it out right. It's just yeah. so sad. I even blew my load with Grim Green today. You kind of did. I, and, and I hate doing that because it takes away from the value of the book. And you guys might be joking around, but for us, it's our retirement money. This we, is what we, we're going to we retire see, on. We can't release any of the information of the book. We can't release the book. Because here's why. We're going to piss everybody off. Yes. Right? We're gonna, and we're, we're going to piss off vapors as well, too, because yeah, yeah, yeah. vapors that have been uh, supporting because, or giving money to, or we're going to piss them off as well, too, because we have facts. I mean, we have facts of yeah. people that have fucked this industry over and fucked pe- me right. and feel right. as well, too. And I mean, it's we have not, factual. It's not, because, it's not like we're going to piss people off because we're going to be dicks. We're going to piss people off because we're going to tell the truth and the behind the scenes yes. shit. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Right? Oh, my God. We got a super chat from oh Craig. Oh, my God. Big money. Craig D. Have some big tobacco money. I joke, Phil, withdraw <laughs> the YouTube money this year for fucking sakes. Yeah, you're right. I have not seen a fucking dime of the super chats in the last seven years that we've done with Phil. But I don't you know, know what, what he does with it. I no, I, I found out. I found out something. Dime. I found out something. What? Because Bill said you really need to check on that, sh- that super chat money. Uh, and, and see where it goes. And it, you know what? It's safe and sound in my checking account. There we go. Yes, but how about me? When, when am I going to Oh, get did your, you want uh, some of that? I mean, I'm part of the show, right? Do you, do you want the $3.75 that's owed to you? All right. Um, so Wait, uh, Craig left. Hold on a second. Craig left a really good comment on the last show here um, because <laughs> I can't wait to hear you know, it. you know, because you had um, you had vaping with Vic. On the uh, on the screen in the last show, vaping with cunt is that what you said? Oh, stop! Don't be the, oh, don't be mean. You know, come yeah, on, Switzerland to vaping, man. Don't do that, okay? Um, but I'm surprised Craig is here because Dimitri's TV was so offensive and gross. I unsubscribed after years of following you. It's <laughs> a great fucking comment. I love it. I love That's it. great. Oh, and uh, by the way, also from the show. Okay, let, let's see. Let's uh, let's look at some more of these uh, these comments here. Uh, fantastic show. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. Watch Human. Look at this. So I recently watched Human Centipede 2 again. Vic reminds me of the guy who tried creating the centipede without any medical training. Why is everybody so mean to Vic? Where's that, where's that, where's that emotional damage one? <laughs> Hold on. I got it. Hold on. Wait. Here. Uh... Emotional damage. All right. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Uh, let's see. Another great show. 
Uh, hey, Jenny, you, you can get Noob Liquid on in Dash Vapes Canada. Um, Randall really likes your freakouts. I love the show. I, the, one of the most important uh, comments right here, uh, you two are brilliant. I would have to agree with that. Uh, enjoyed the show. Okay, now Phil's... Th th okay, so remember um, the contest that we have going on for yeah. the political figures Phil wants to have sex yes, with. Yes, yes, yes. We yes. need a better name for the uh, for the, the PowerPoint, yes. right? And uh, here's here's one of them. Uh, Phil's Phil and Buster, filibuster. No. <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty good, but it's a little bit it's a little it's a, it's kinda it's kinda long, right? Uh, be honest, I watch every one of Philly's reviews, as you should, Randall. Uh, never inch see, I love that. I love when you just hang out with me. Yes. Okay, appreciate it. Don't Caroline, care yes, D V Canada ships to the US. You can get our liquids and you can get the new uh, uh noob liquid as well too. Uh, we have uh, we have here Phil's politically hopeful hit list. Uh, that does, that's that that'll get me arrested by the FBI. We don't want that. But we have a winner. We have a winner. I yeah. like this one. Very, very it's exciting. short. It's 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 right up my alley right here. Politically erect. Love it. But that's Bill. It's okay, Bill. You won anyway. It's it's the best one that I've seen. It's okay. Um since so many people are bone ass crazy, everything's got to be politically correct. I love it. Politically erect politically erect bill it's gotta be it's it's a winner in it's my a winner book, it's a hey win. i don't care if it comes from bill or not it's it's a winner bill you win what did bill win i don't remember i don't remember i don't remember so fucking long ago i don't remember <laughs> i think it was like uh wasn't it a dp show um oh scepter? it was it was a dp show um scepter scepter, That's scepter. What I thought. yeah send yeah. it to him okay didn't we send him one already sorry send him another one i'll send him something else but, but, but we'll something. make sure. Just, just talk to Bill and see what he wants. Yeah, well, I'll ask you, Bill. I'll ask you, Bill. anything that Bill wants. Anything you want. Been Bill. very, very helpful. And Bill's very, very helpful to the to us on the show. And you, you know, because I'm out of and I'm almost out of the the um, the Johnny Walker Black. I went to the uh, the Old Faithful here. What? You uh, know what's in here, right? Oh, yeah, Tito's and lemonade. Tito's <laughs> and lemonade, very delicious. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. You really are way, smart. They, you know me so well. You know me. Tomorrow, tomorrow we have a big release here in Greece as well too. We're uh, launching two uh, tobacco flavors for the Noob uh, e-juice line, and I, I, I want to say that you know the process of creating liquid is is very funny. Um, when when we have ideas, and we've been copied so much, Phil. Again, a lot of this is for the book as well too. But this past week, a, a Greek guy here that that has a liquid company which envies me so much. Like he literally hangs from my balls. Everything that I do, he copies me, everything. He released a liquid line that's for pods only. And he's calling it the world's first liquid line for pods only. Uh, it has strawberry, kiwi, banana ice. Why? It's just so original. I mean, it really, like we've been doing this since what, 2018? We've been having a liquid that's designed for MTL and pod systems only. But anyway, they're releasing it as well too. But no, no, that has nothing to do with it. That's going to go in the book. Uh, tomorrow, we're having the big announcement. Monday here in Greece, it will be in stores uh, through distributors and the vape stores as well, too. But tomorrow, you'll get more information on your buddy, Nick, uh, Vape My Noob, on his channel. We're releasing two tobacco flavors. One is an RY4 banana tobacco that is fucking fantastic. I mean, it's just... And again, I'm trying to do stuff... You know me. I'm trying to do stuff that people have not done. Our wife or banana tobacco has not been done. And it's really, really good. And I'm also releasing an espresso coffee tobacco with caramelized hazelnuts that is die for. If Can you're you into like semi-tobacco, like we, we call them semi-tobaccos in, in, in Greece because they're not pure tobaccos they're tobaccos with something else like gourmet tobaccos mm -hmm. these two flavors are baller so we're wow. releasing tomorrow they're available in dash vapes canada right now but they're going to be available in europe starting monday oh so so noobs on dash vapes canada too huh yes wow yes, buddy. you know i you know how i spread the love i don't keep the whole pie for myself i'm not philip morris international i try to fucking <laughs> spread the love to all the people that i work with whether they appreciate me or not, whether they're loyal or not, whatever. I just try to spread the love, and hopefully when I die on my tombstone, they'll say this guy was a pretty decent guy. It sounds good, man.
Uh, that sounds good. Could you fit more flavors into that tobacco? It sounds amazing. Yes. Yes, I can do it. But having said that, yes. For the last year, we've been talking about, you know, we need to do something with unsalted as well, too. And uh, I'm proud to announce that right now. On are, we Dash Vapes, are we officially announcing this? I mean, it, it's available right now on Dash Vapes Canada, so might as it's, well. It won't be, it won't be available of, in Europe for another month. It's kind of a secret at this point because it hasn't been you promoted. You don't want to say? What? You don't want to say? No, 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 no. We could say, but we won't. We won't blow it out of the water. We'll just say that. I'll let, you, I'll let you lead it. How about that? We will just say that it has been quietly released on Dash Vapes Canada, right? Yes. So okay. it's not Dash Vapes EU yet. Um, no. Peggy, e even Peggy doesn't have it yet, who no. is, by the way, an official sponsor now of yes. the DP show. She will have it soon, though. It's available in Canada. She will have it soon. Um, so what we've done was... We have now released three initial flavors, right? Uh, including um, watermelon peach, the number one uh, best selling flavor in the unsalted line. Cheers. Still, by the way, even after all the flavors. And by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but just because that's my flavor and it is the number one best selling flavor in the unsalted line. The boys, Dimitri and um, <laughs> and Matt, Tiny Lips, they don't care. They, because we, we split this. It's an even three-way split. Um, we get 0.001% and Dash Vapes makes everything else, right? Yes. Um, and they love, they love when I push Watermelon Peach, the number one best-selling flavor in the Unsolved Line. They love it. Yes. Right? We have the original three ice flavors. We have three new ice flavors. And now we're releasing, uh, and we had to go, there was a lot of back and forth on the naming convention because Canada yes. is a giant pain in my ass. Not a joke. Yes. Like ridiculous on, on, on what you can call flavors and what you can't call flavors in Canada. It's just fucking silly. But anyway, uh, we are releasing uh, a new gourmet line. We're calling it a gourmet line. Basically, we wanted to call it Unsalted Sweets. We can't do that in Canada, so we're calling it a gourmet line. And there are three absolutely delicious flavors, okay? Uh, there is a rice pudding. There is a uh, salted caramel uh, pudding, right? And there is a, a coffee flavor. Describe the coffee flavor. It's really good. They're all so good. It's a Bavarian cream coffee, and I think it's something... If, if you look at what we've done with Unsalted... We've always tried to go to the fruit flavors, MTL pods, also trying to help people that are transitioning from disposables. But since we launched the other three, we have six now in the Unsalted on Ice, we felt it's winter time. We need to have some dessert flavors. Yeah. So again, we went to the drawing board trying to see what's not really out there as far as the dessert flavors in the market right now. Try to go a little bit outside the box. And, uh, and put some flavors out that people can the books, books, books. Uh, that people can enjoy through the winter time, um, and, and people that are dessert lover uh, fans. So, and let me say again, once again, we worked very, very hard on these recipes. I sent them out to Phil um, to try out while we're uh, prototyping them, and to Matt uh, Cully. And I think I think that we nailed them. I think that we Fif did a really good job. Fifteen over fifteen rejected flavors and variants. Yeah. Right, and then we uh, we finally got uh, the three nailed down. And uh, as a matter of fact, I've got the rice pudding in here, and I've been vaping this, and it's a six. You know, I like yeah. it. You yeah. know, I like it if I'm vaping it as a six because it's really not satisfying me, uh, flavor wise. It's terrific, and I've got a little video to share with you. Is that okay? Can I share the video? Dave? Sure, of course. Right. Let me see if I can pull this up because. One of the favorite desserts that my mother makes, right, is number one, her apple pie. But number two, my favorite is her rice pudding. And it legitimately, I mean, you can't, you can't recreate the love and deliciousness of my mom's rice pudding. But you know what? It reminds me of it. It's delicious and it leaves that rice pudding taste in my mouth, right? 
So we named it after my mother. Um, and it's called Mama B's Rice Pudding, right? Again, in Canada, we can't really do that. And I, when I told my mom, I, I misspoke and I said it's Mrs. B's. But anyway, uh, let me show you this because I think her reaction is adorable. And if this doesn't make you want to uh, grab the liquid, I, I don't know what will. Check this out. I try that one. See if it reminds you of anything. It should, or it should at least leave the taste in your mouth. Sweet, sweet. It's a dessert. Cream, creamy. I taste uh -huh. creamy. Rice pudding. It is rice pudding. Oh, it is rice. Cool. As a matter of fact, the name of that. Yeah. Is going to be Mrs. B's rice pudding. Yes! <laughs> How can so you not love that? Congratulations. Oh, that's How can cool. you not love it? You know, yeah, okay. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I think. Mean, hey, so, congratulations. Like, watching her oh, blow cool. vapor out of her nose is just, yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's the most sweet thing love ever. It's just love you too, babe. <laughs> she, I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for her. She was so excited. That we were naming it after. She like she was really, really like she mentioned it to me several times during the day. And uh, let me tell you something. I'm I'm so blessed and happy that I still have both my parents with me. Yeah. And um, just to be able to do something like that, you know. And name, by the way, uh, Ma, you're not getting any percentage off of this. Just yeah, like, no, no, just, no. just the name. We can't afford that. We can't afford that. But um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, Mama B's uh, rice pudding, and it is. It's named after her because it, it is. It's it's a dessert. That, as a matter of fact, the next time she's here or the next time I'm there, I'm gonna have her make her rice pudding, and I'll record the whole thing, and then we'll like do something funny. We'll squeeze it in a bottle, and that'd be uh, fun. You know, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. But uh, the, the ma, mom, pudding, if you are rice... watching, Ma, I love you very much, and uh, congratulations. You have a name uh, flavor named after you. The the rice pudding it it tastes like just you just I'll give you the description. I won't tell you about the rest of them, but the rice pudding I will tell you. Because I told this to Phil as well too, if if you are of Mediterranean descent, like Phil is Italian, I'm Greek, and you know, rice pudding is is huge in our family. Yeah. So when rice pudding is made, usually mamas what they do is they'll put it in a bowl and then they'll let it sit and they put cinnamon on top and then it gets cold. We put it in the refrigerator or whatever you're going to do with it. So when you take it out to eat it, the first spoonful you take is the top of the rice pudding, which right. has created like a little film. Uh, and it has like the cinnamon on it. So it's the, the rice pudding liquid is like taking that first bite out of the spoon, which is the top layer of the rice pudding along with the cinnamon. So on the inhale, you get the cinnamon and on the exhale, you get that rice pudding taste out of it. This is exactly how the liquid came out and I couldn't be more happier. It's just, it's really fantastic. It's really good. It is good. Hold on. Wait a second. Hang on. Name of that? Yeah. Is going to be Mrs. B's rice pudding. Yes! <laughs> so congratulations. Oh, that's cool. I'll promote it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Love you, Mom. Love you too, babe. She might uh, help promote it more than Matt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. She, she already did. She already did. Oh, Matt, I'm the, fucking with you. I love you, Matt. The way she was, I'm not. I'm, but the way she <laughs> vaped it, and it's like uh, vapor coming out of her nose. It was just it was just fantastic. I mean, it's just. So hey, you know, she she uh, she vapes. She was a smoker for such a long yeah, time. And I'm, yeah, I'm so proud. She, she does um, this thing she called. She looks healthy. That's, she that's she is she's so spunky for her yeah. age. Yeah, she yeah, yeah. she still cooks the like she's such a unbelievable and she does this thing called silver sneakers. I don't know if you know that. What you, is that? You know, it's a um, it's a senior citizen senior citizen thing and you sign up for these classes and they they broadcast them on the internet and you just do these really low impact workouts uh, with them. There's like bending and stretching and like you walking do that in Cape Coral, dude. Fuck <laughs> off. I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> Fuck off. How would you like to suck my butt? There you go. Uh, oh my god, that's hilarious. But so uh, anyway, uh if you are interested in these flavors right now, the only place to get them is uh, Dash yes. Vapes Canada. Uh, and then they're going to become uh, available. And we'll let you know. We'll let you know through social media. We'll let you know on this show. We'll let you know on tasterjuice.com uh, when they become available in more places. Yeah, I will send you. Uh, let me just send you right now. Maybe you can pull it up. I will send you. Um, 
if I have it on this computer here. I think I do. But the, the problem is that in Canada, we can't name some liquids, um, you know, due to... And I saw a comment earlier about the taxes there. I sent it to you, Phil. Um, the taxes in Canada... Listen, don't blame us. Don't blame us about the excess tax and the, and the tape that they put on there. Blame your associations in Canada. Uh, but these are the labels for it um, that that Nick uh, Vape My Noob designed. And I think that the labels came out fantastic. Yeah, they're really they good. They came out really, really good. I'm very, very happy with the, la the way the labels came out. Unfortunately, we can't have these labels in Canada, unfortunately. But in Europe, when they're launched, uh, they're going to have these these labels on it. It'll be um, Cafe D, Mama B, and uh, Salty. I think Salty is Matt's liquid at this point because yeah, it's, it's very, very salty. It's too bad because some of the some of the names we were we were tossing around the salty oh, man. was going to be uh, salty lips uh, for Matt. Yes, yes, you know, you yes, the tiny yes, lips. We did, we did, we did. And I think uh, Cafe D was going to be the big D uh, for big, you. Big, you know, the which would have been Cafe D, that was which would have been false advertising. But you know, it's it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, we can't. But uh, isn't that but, sad? <laughs> like, isn't it sad? because I mean those labels are beautiful and we can't use them in Canada. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But Such... I do. Uh, I, I also there's a there's an issue with flavorings. Like once we create something, we might we have to make sure that we get enough flavoring in Europe before we launch. Right. And because we've had some problems in the past, I, I never announced liquid now until I have it made. Like Noob Tobacco, um, we created this a month ago. Just yesterday, I got the flavoring for. Oh, by the way, the the noob tobaccos are called Project and Courier, which is like an inside joke. But for uh, for Project, I got the flavoring in yesterday, so I, I didn't announce it in Greece until it, I have the bottles made. I had it made today. I had them at Liquid Puff. Now we're sending them to distributors and we're sending them to other places. It'll be launched on Monday. The same thing will happen with this. We're gonna wait till I have all the uh, aromas inside. We can create the bottles. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> and, uh, well, how yes. did that happen? There we go. How did that happen? Hold on a second. Let me try that again. He, va he vaped salty. I think that's what he did. The so there's the uh, the salty. It's a salted caramel pie. I thought I thought we were going with pudding, but that's okay. Things change. No, no, because we have a rice pudding. So I ah, yeah, good point. Okay. Um, the Mama B rice pudding. That's why I make the big bucks. Yep. And then the uh, the Cafe D, which is a Bavarian cream coffee, all excellent, excellent flavors. You know, one of the, I, I'll never forget when I tried the um, the salty. I was like, oh wow, wow! Uh, and I, I wrote to Dimitri in instantly, and I I told him I said what I loved about it. It was a clean, clear, defined salted caramel. I could fucking taste it. It was good. It was good. They're they're yeah. they're nice flavors. Uh, even I like I can't wait to get them in a twelve. I cannot yeah. wait to get them in a twelve. Sure, I'm looking forward sure, to it. Sure. Yeah. Um, a thirty mil bottle of juice costs twenty seven ninety nine Canadian now. Says Michael DeHaunt. Listen, I feel for you. I really do, bro. But where were all the Canadian vapors when this law was being passed? Like, I, I see it because I'm involved with Das Vapes and I'm in I'm, I'm in the group chat of all their stores and the employees <laughs> feedback. You know what the cu customers come in and they complain about the tax. Das Vapes did not pass the tax; they have to enforce it. And Das Vapes was the first to be fully compliant in Canada, and they paid the price for it because people complain about it. But the law requires you to have a tape on it, like cigarettes. You know that you know the little tax stamp that's on the back of the cigarettes in America. This is what the Canadian law. Where were all the Canadian vapors when this law was being passed? You can bitch all you want about it now. It's not going to change anything. The tax has to be paid if you run a legitimate company. You know what's so, crazy too is like the the people who are complaining about um, liquid prices. Welcome to the years of early vaping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, back back when. Liquid prices were fucking insane, and then all of the 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 wars started with like who can get to the ground floor the fastest uh, with liquid prices, and uh, you know now all of a sudden you have the taxes, and in reality they're going back to where the prices were originally with with liquids and and you know the gourmet lines and all that stuff. But, I remember. But, like, I remember. I just paying. but but I do. I mean, I, I feel for you, but. That's not, it's not our fault. That's not Dash Vape's fault. Blame your politicians and your government, you know? I remember that, I remember when I paid, 
I'm going to send you something that you can put up on the st on the, the screen real quick. Somebody asked, what, the, what does the label look like in Canada? So let me just send it to you here. You can pull it up there. All right. Um, I remember when we used to pay $29.99 for U.S. dollars for a 30 mil of five ponds Castle Long Reserve. <laughs> for a 30 mil, it was a dollar a mil. I mean, we're talking about liquid gold in a bottle. Right. Um, I cannot pull. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see. Can I save that image? Save that. Yeah. Give me a second. No. Okay. That's not. Just bring up it. the web page. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to see, but there it is. Yeah, that's what. I think. Well, I mean, it's it's boring. Uh, yeah. And weird. it has a skull on it. So. Yeah, the skull is. I fucking hate the skull so much. Ugh. That is one big pile of shit. There you go. <laughs> I love but that's my... what that's, that's what they look like in uh, in Canada. Nothing to do with the label that we got in uh, in Europe so far. So far, it might change. So anyway, there you go. N not the official announcement, but a little sneak a no. uh, little sneak peek at the uh, at the new flavors. And you know, once again, here's Dimitri and I. You know, we're 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 doing open vapor products. We're doing open vapor tanks. Uh, our tanks are packaged with Inigan devices. You see us doing um, open vapor liquids. And, you know, we're, we're proud. Uh, could we be making a whole lot more money if we were in disposables? Yes. May, 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 may we be in disposables someday? Maybe. I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to close that door. Um, but we're, we're holding course and, and we're trying to do things um, the, the best for the way we know vaping. Does that make yeah. sense? We're yeah. trying to have the options available that everybody needs, not just one niche of uh, consumers. And that's what's most important in my opinion. But obviously, me and Phil vape open vapor devices in liquid. Speaking of. Hold on a second. Wait, I, gotta, I have to correct Rifleman. You are wrong. It is not Phil's table of juice, juice prices. It is the chart o juice prices. Don't you remember, man? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Um, Come on, man. Just Hi, this buddy. past week, uh, Anakin released the updated Endura. This, you know, the Endura has been on the market since what, 2013, Phil? I mean, yeah. how many devices can you say that about different Chinese companies? No, right? not a lot. Uh, so the Apex was just released this past week. I have it here in my hands. A great starter kit around 30 bucks. Again, in that tube fashion of the Endura, it does have a top filling system. Excuse me. Just unscrew the top, fill it from the top. Uh, airflow control here on the side of the tank. This is a 510 uh, connection tank. Um, button on the side, one, two, three, just like uh, most Inigan devices. On and off. But also, what this version has, if you look here down here on the bottom ring, this is something me and Phil proposed quite quite a few years ago. But don't get me started. When you vape, you're gonna see a little green uh, LED light around the base. So sexy. I'm turned on right now. You can also um, up it a little bit. There's some people that want a little bit more heat, that want a little bit more power in the device. This is very, very simple. No screens, no wattage, no voltage. We got to get away from that. People don't want that. Disposables have taken over, so we need to make these devices um, more easy for new people. So all you do is just turn the base. See, it turns into red. That's it. Just one little turn. Can you give it another sexy vape, please? Gay! Okay. And now you have great mouth to lung goodness with just a little bit more heat. If you want to match a cigarette or if you're vaping on tobacco or something, you're making the switch, you have that option. Or if you're like me and you vape, you know, fruity menthol stuff, you can take it down to the green level. Gay! That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Just press the button. Endura Apex uh, just released by Inikin, one of the top sellers in my stores at Liquid Puff uh, here in Greece. It's a great little device, great starter kit with that little tubular design. Um, so, you know, check it out. 
if you, if you are still committed to helping, you know, smokers switch or disposable users that are looking for something that's open vapor, uh, it takes the T22 coils, which have been available again for like six, seven years. They're compatible. Uh, they also released a new mesh coil for it as well, too, which we stock and, and it works fantastic. Well done, my friend. Well done. We've just about done it all except for the um, politically erect uh, PowerPoint yes. that we're going to change yes. the name. So yes. uh, you guys interested in that? You want to see the uh, the new entries? It's been a, it's been like almost a month. So I, I have want to see I, have I want to see the new entries so I can make sure that again I'm not going to be on the same page with you. You're going to like one and you're going to not like another one. All right. Okay. All right, so well, let's we'll go here. Let's get, let's, let's, let's. All right, we'll try to do this quick. Uh, the people, uh, the the politically fig political figures, Phil wants to have sex with. Now, the politically erect uh, spreadsheet. Or we need to uh, change that. We need to change, We're gonna that, change yeah. that. Okay. We know Christy Nome. We know yeah. uh, AOC. Oh, we know I, you're so attracted to her. I'm we know so, Carrie Lake. I'm so I'm so attracted to AOC. This I'm was really the initial excited. three. Uh, a, a Dimitri gets very excited when we talk about AOC. Very, very excited. Re keep in nothing mind. Nothing to do with the political affiliation. I like, was just going to say that. Keep in mind. It has nothing to do with political. It has nothing, nothing to do with their, their thoughts, nothing. their beliefs, their stance. Nothing. It's just I want them in bed. Yes, that's it. Yes. That's, all, that's all it is, I, right? I want to. I right. want to do stuff to her that okay. she wouldn't be able to kiss her kids the next day. <laughs> we added uh, Tudor Dixon, right? Um, yes. We added Lauren Bobert, yes. who I'm, I'm, I, I find myself incredibly my attracted thing. to her. Not my thing. Not I my know thing. it's not your thing. I don't know why. Maybe I, maybe this picture needs to be better. Yes. Maybe. Um, so I think uh, I think this is where the new additions come in, and I've added. Yes. Sarah Palin. You know, I, I'm surprised you didn't have her from the beginning. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, really? I'm a little bit surprised because when she came on the scene, mm -hmm. you know, as as a vice presidential candidate, a lot of people talked about, you know, her sexiness and, and stuff like that. Yeah. For me personally, I was I never saw her and said, oh, wow. You know, I would like, oh, wow. Like it would affect my political decision or whatever would it my voting. Really? Uh, it, 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 there's women that put off alongside that that the political ideology that they have. They also put out that caring feeling, Karen feeling. You know, like a Karen, hmm. as is described on the internet. Fascinating. And Sarah Palin always gave me that Karen. Like she gave me that feeling. She would come into my restaurant in Chattanooga, Portofino's, and complained uh, that the. Uh, marinara sauce was too red <laughs> at an Italian restaurant. Like, that, that's the kind of vibe I get from her. Like she would complain about everything, and that's just not a turn on to me. It's just a, it's a huge turn off. On the other hand, I don't know. You know what? I, like I, I'm looking at this photo and I'm digging the shoes, man. Yeah, I mean, look, like it's, that's a nice package right there. I mean, but I say no, no. I would be lying. But there's, I there's pursue, not a lot you would there's not a lot you would say no to. This is really true. like let's be this honest. This is true. This let's is true. be honest. Okay. Uh, but would I pursue? Would I put effort? No. Okay. So I'm um, I'm running out of of U.S. politicians a little bit. So okay. I've gone international. All right. I've gone international. Are you ready? I'm I'm happy with that. I'm happy with. All that. right. Here there's we a go. Lot of good international politicians that we're are gonna on. go international with Santa. Morella. She's a Finnish politician and she's a little party girl. She's a party girl. I know I, her. You know her? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, in Europe, you know, all these, Opinion? these hotties in different countries get a lot of uh, media attention. Opinion? Um, not my thing. Really? Not my thing. No. Re really? But look at her right yeah, there. Just, yeah, she, but, but exactly. She's, she's, right scre there. she's screaming... Dimitri right there. No, she's not. Her mouth is too big to say D. <laughs> um, D closes the mouth. Um, huh. I'm not into that party. Like, I'm not into that party attitude of a politician. Again, it's not a turn on to me. It's not. Really? <laughs> well, anyway, she is my uh, my second edition. So uh, this is what the, the, um, the chart looks like right now. Yeah. Okay. See, the picture there... 
Yeah. Of of Santa. That that picture, I dig that more. Oh, you like than, that more? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I dig that I dig that more than I do the crazy party girl. I mean, you're a fucking politician, you know? I mean, chill the fuck out. Get out there and show a little bit of respect and ethics and uh, and what you're trying to do. Hmm. And it, when the doors are closed, you can Th- then you know, open. Yes. Then. Yes. Then you do yes. that. When the doors then are closed. Do that. This is when the then doors do are closed. Right. You know what? I agree with you. I know she took a lot of Thank heat you. for this stuff, Thank too. You. She did. But Thank so you, you like you like uh, that more, huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. That You I know do. what? That's fair. That's fair. Okay. And the politically uh, you know, erect choices this week were good. They were good additions. I like them. I'm happy, like uh, but I'm, you know what? I, I, I'm leaning towards Lauren Boebert, man. Like uh, as my top. I, I no. Not I like mean, as I want to be on top because top yeah. or bottom, I would be very, very happy with. Yeah, you know. To, but to me, again, it, this is a great addition to it. It brings some competition. I still have to go with AOC from that well, list. Of course. I mean, I know how you are. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it brings some like serious heat. I, I might think about it. Yeah. To me, AOC and second would be two door Dixon so far. Two door. Well, because yeah. I think you just like the fact that she's two doors and not one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. yes All right. Different. So I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, next week, if we do, if we do do a show next week, it's getting more challenging for me at this point. Um, yeah, I mean, look, can you imagine if Amanda Wheeler runs for uh, some kind of office? You might have to put her on that list as well one day. Oh, my God, I would. It might because be a stepping stone. It might got, be a stepping stone. It's got yeah, nothing. It might be a stepping stone for the next chapter. Remember, this is not about Democrat, Republican. No, no, I don't it's give got a nothing to do with that. But I don't look at the uh, um, hyphen uh, political affiliation at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Not even a little bit, right? Okay. <laughs> Not at all. No. Now, I have a special addition to the uh, PowerPoint because okay. we we have – remember I opened this up to uh, any ladies who okay. want to suggest uh, anything. Um, I would be happy to do you know, an additional PowerPoint okay. or add to it. And we have some additions. Okay. All right. So um, let's go back. I'm down. Here. I'm. I'm. I'm definitely an equal opportunity. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Politically erect. Okay. So we've changed this right here to political figures Peggy and company want to have sex with. Okay. Peggy and company. So okay. going by uh, what we're calling this now. Um, uh, political erectness, politically erect. <laughs> no, politically erect. That's what we're calling. We, we can it. call. We can call this version politically wet. Politically wet. That's a very good name. Politically Pretty good, wet. right? Very good. Pretty very good. good. Okay. So let's add. Let's go check. Take take a look. Mister Desantis, next ruler of the free world. Who wouldn't want that? Again, this is coming from I, Peggy and Company. Listen. Yeah, you guys can praise all you want of Ron DeSantis, but he, number one, if, easy, if I easy, went there, easy. If, if I went there, number easy. one, I would not fuck him. I would not. I would not. Um, he looks How very late and boring in bed. Um, number two, I can think of fifteen other guys in polit- If I did go that way, and I'm I'm being fair and balanced as I always. 15 other guys that I would bone before I would bone. Uh, I don't know. Sandwich. Carolyn. Carolyn says yum. LOL. Carolyn okay. says yum. She just says it because she lives in Florida. That's all. Okay. Let's go to the on next the one. On the free state or whatever. Uh, 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 let's go to the next one here. Uh, hold on. Bill said shorten that title to Pegum. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh. Bill is going to win all the contests. No, uh, so sad that we both know what that is. All right. Uh, moving on now. Bill Clinton. No. He's got away with cigars. No. Come on now. No. Uh, nothing about him, uh, you know, except the fact that he was president. If he was not president, he wouldn't fuck. Um, Dude, you, you got to think. His, 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 you, no. You're not thinking with your vagina. You have to think with your vagina. I am. I am. I am I'm trying to think with my vagina. He, the only thing he has going for him is political power. That's it. In a real world, a Bill Clinton, if he was working at Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, uh, he would be getting as much late as you are. Next. Hold on a second. I have to turn off my robot vacuum, otherwise it'll be too loud. One second. I have to go here. 
I have to come on, hurry up. I have to go here and I have to tell you to dock. One second now. Hold on. And we're going to talk more. Caroline even put the puke face on Bill Clinton. So oh, seriously, it, well, why is it when you need things the most, that is when they are their slowest? I'll just close the door. All right. Hurry up. We've got Scott Taylor's show coming. I know. I know. Um, but, you know, I mean, like, I, seriously, though, like, plays saxophone, plays no. uh, with cigars. All right. Anyway. Next. All right. Next. She says, political gangbang. What a great time. What? These very dirty people over there at uh, Jimmy Peggy's Carter, shop. Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and George Bush. Uh, you know, I'm thinking only two or three of them survive a gangbang. Like, there's no way Carter ain't gonna make it. No he is Carter's no. not gonna make it. That, by the way, no. right there, you know what that looks like? What? That looks like my New Year's Eve party a little bit. Next, I think that might be it. Let's see. Oh, Justin. What yeah. You Oh, no, see, oh, you say yes to Justin, huh? So I, I will tell you, as a woman, if I sure. was, again, I'm trying to think with my vagina. Think with your vagina. He is a good looking guy. Absolutely. But I would be more attracted to Justin if I was a gay man well, than if then, I was a woman. Oh, oh. Listen to what I said. Okay, Listen okay. To what I said, Phil. Pay attention. Oh, I, I totally this get that. Very serious. Totally get that. Okay. Very serious. I would be more attracted to Justin Makes if sense. I was a power top gay man. I would be more excited. Oh, so you're saying than you're say, if I was a woman. So you're saying Justin is a bottom then? I didn't say that. I said I would be more excited if I was a power top. You take that whatever you want to take it. Hmm. You know, it's your choice. Well, you're a very dominating person, man. Like yes, I totally I am, get that. Right. Yeah. So yeah. like I totally understand Justin. I, I you know what? I get Justin and I get DeSantis. I like yes. I, the, like the two of them. Thinking with my vagina, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, yeah. I get the two of them. Okay, and I think yes. that might be. I think, and you have a very pretty vagina. I've seen it. Thank you very much. Um, and 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 they. By the way, all of these little comments here, like political gangbang, what a great time. Uh, not provided by me, but by the way, provided by Peggy and Company. Okay, just want to make sure we clarify that because we're going to get hate mail. Of that, course, you're going to okay. get something in the comments saying, you know, whatever. It's okay. And uh, Justin Trudeau, and I think that might... Be, oh, what do you think? You know, a redhead man in politics, there's nothing appealing. Again, I'm trying to think as a vagina, right? I'm trying to think as a vagina. Think vagina. A little mm-hmm. redhead boy. From, no. I mean, it, as a woman, no. I wouldn't be attracted to him. Like, I would, you know, like, oh, my God, it makes me wet. It, it, no, no. No, uh, th- thinking uh, again. In thinking fact, with, it's the opposite. It makes me chalky dry. <laughs> thinking with my vagina, I would I would have to go with Trudeau and then um, DeSantis. I would agree with you. Okay. That, that does Good. nothing for me Good. at all. No, nothing, nothing at all. No. And listen, uh, thank you, Peggy, for providing uh, these. Uh, it was good entertainment. Uh, but, uh, this, this, you have to respect our opinions as well. Too. Yeah. Carolyn says, uh, sorry, no gingers. I totally get that. Sally says hit the like button or hit the all we're going to hell button. Either of those yes. two buttons yes. will work. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Nobody's going to hell. Nobody's and I think, hell, I think that might, be, Oh wait, there's more. How many fucking, how many guys do you have? He has more than the women. Uh, apparently, uh, Peggy's got a lot you know, on her mind Peggy. over there. I don't know what's Peggy. going on. Peggy. But, Get on Pornhub. All right, next. Let me see it. But, you know, he's the governor of nah. Rio Grande. Um, gay, you mean happy. Eduardo. No, um, I, I don't care if he's gay or not. It doesn't I'd matter. I'd rather have uh, what the, the, the gay guy, the congressman in the United States. I forget his name now. Pip, 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 whatever he is. He's a good-looking guy. Well, wait a second. Uh, what, guy, I'm sorry. You have a fantasy going on here? Is no, no. I'm just saying. I, I just saw him on the other day on MSNBC where he was talking about him and taking his husband to uh, a, a trip. But this guy that you pulled up here. Yes, this guy. Uh, this guy looks like the guy that parked my car at a strip club last week. It's exactly what he looks like. This is exactly what he looks like. Yeah. yeah. And he probably <laughs> he probably makes more money than all of us combined, too, by the way. Um, thinking with my vagina. Yeah, I'm agreeing with uh, Peggy on this one. Yeah? Yeah, and, and even oh. Carolyn says, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Ian says, suave, like Rico, I'm suave. No. Uh, I, I think that's it. Is that it? That's it. Woo! Oh, thank God. Okay. Thank God. So, uh, if you want to play least, along. At least we're keeping the balance, that's all. 
If you want to uh, play along with this, uh, you are more than welcome to. You can submit in the comments of this video yes. Uh, yes. any additional politically uh, associated women or men. We will add them to your list, th this list, and we'll continue. I think it's a fun segment. You know, I think it's yes, a fun segment. It's Absolutely. fun. It's, it really is. It really and, is. And, and again, what I like about this most is that we're not thinking about their thoughts, their opinions, their political orientation, any of that. Even if we were a fuck you, I don't give a shit. Just yeah, leave some fucking hate comments on the bottom. There you this go. Is, this is all about who we would like under the covers with us. How about that? Yes. yes. May, all your up, <laughs> may all your ups and downs be between the sheets. That's what I say, my friend. <laughs> no, you just fucking said you want Ron DeSantis to be under your sheets. That's no, that's not. We, come, come on. I'm, I'm talking about the, the, the women. Not, <laughs> although I tell you what, DeSantis, for everything he does for Florida, he could, he could join me under the sheets. That's fine. That's fine. We've said it all. Please go and uh, uh, watch uh, Scott Taylor's show, ST Vapes. And listen, like ST Vapes and us and Mike Vapes, these guys are still doing shows. They've done shows. They've done 200 episodes, and they're still there. They're trying to promote vaping. They're still around. Give them some support. Give Absolutely. them some love. Go watch their shows. I know numbers are down. I know vaping is is you know is, is dwindling down, but... Go out there and give them, they do this for you guys to entertain you guys and show them some love. Absolutely. I will say, uh, Daniel too. give Daniel a little bit of love. He's out there. He's still doing it. Yes. Still making videos. Um, and tell him we sent him. We sent you. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, just don't go and like them. Tell them that we and Steve Mal them. stands by his AOC decision. Me and Steve are brothers. <laughs> Steve, me and you can gangbang AOC if you oh want. My I'm God. all in. Oh, in. wow, really? I, don't I will get to share with you, Steve. I don't get to gangbang AOC with no, you. No, you don't like AOC. What do you mean I don't like AOC? She's on my have, fucking list. You, no, I'm, she's top on my list. She's not top on your list. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. I know. I would... I would I do just, so many things there. I, I, I would, I would. I oh my God! Here we go. Hold, wait, 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 wait. That are probably banned on Pornhub. Wait, that's what probably, would you that's do? That's how bad. What would you do? I would do things to her that would be banned on Pornhub. And that last air horn is for you, brother. It was a, uh, it was a good show. It was a fun show. Um, I hope we didn't say anything that's going to make anybody jump off of a bridge uh, or too angry tonight. But nah, I don't think so. I don't think we do that. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for future shows, let us know. Um, I'll reach out to the, uh, to the winner who got uh, politically erect. I like that. Oh, that's bill. I don't have to reach out to bill. He watches the show. Yes. Uh, yes. Good job, bill. That was fun. I like that. I like that a lot. Bill. And, uh, well that's deserved. it. Thank you so much for watching again. Uh, we appreciate your support over all these years and we're going to still be here and, uh, we're not going anywhere. We're still here, not working for PMI, but uh, still working for Itakin, still working for Dash Vape, still working for <laughs> for uh, Monster Vape Labs, still promoting open vapor products, and uh, and we will be uh, for many years to come. So have a we, wonderful evening. We ain't going nowhere. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again soon. Oh.